This program is rated MA. It contains adult themes, coarse language, sexual references and violence. All right, what's up, everybody? It is Open Comms. It's Friday. Uh, we're back. Um, everyone's here except for Hyper, but uh, I'm Drayden. We got Dirk here. We got Rain. We got Brisk. We got LB. We got Iron Wolf. What's up, guys? How's it going? And uh, what's up? What do you want? Log in. Hi. Log in. Get your free skill points. Um, Does that Brisk? Brisk has got nah, a tie on today. It. I'm in a bad I'm, mood today. I made actually tie on. Actually, it's not. Uh, actually, you didn't miss it yet because it, yeah. uh, it's in, it's until downtime in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. if you haven't, if you play Eve online, <laughs> or, or if you have active if accounts, you play. or wait, wait. or sure, if sure you, you if you have some omegas, or, you know, that Even are currently in alpha state, what, just go get, and get, get your the, free twenty five uh, and log in log in before downtime in the morning. And yeah, get your get your shit. Whether you agree with the whole like you know bonus XP weekend or anything like, who gives a shit? Go get your free cheese. Yeah, log free in cheese. all the things. Um, now uh, also I'm just gonna we can open it with a shot. Uh, today was guards last day. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Dirk, we're not gonna make the partner program anyway. Thanks, Meta Show. So we can do shots <laughs> oh, opening, yeah. okay? Well, now for the partner program, is that INN as a whole, or do they take individual things? I don't know. Falcon told me know. on Twitter, I'd like it. Yeah, because like if they're grouping us in with INN in general, but that's kind of weird because INN is so many different things that it's kind of hard exactly. to be all inclusive. That's why. But that's why, because well, you're under the INN banner. That's why. That's not why. Yeah. Because yeah, you got uh, yeah. I don't. That ain't why. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so well, I mean, guards last day. I mean, um, I'm we gonna probably make the partnership program when when Dirk's on vacation. Yeah. He's gonna, like when they come to look at the show, Dirk's gonna go on vacation. That week. Yeah, when Dirk takes a night off, we're partner program. When he comes back, we're out. Yeah, yeah. We were very nice last it's day and professional. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm, so I'm quite certain yeah, that you we were. had scarves. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, shots to guards. Oh yeah, shots uh, shots to guards last day. Uh, Guard. It, it's really the fucking end of an era. It just yeah. is. Yeah. And happy birthday, Manic. Quiet. Quiet. Manic, are you still in the running? Just ask. I'm me. assuming he applied. Manic said, Manic said he's not going to move, though. So I didn't ask if he was going to move. I didn't ask if he changed his mind. I was just asking if he was still in the running. Because if he's still in the running after saying he's not going to move, then that's kind of cool, too. Speaking well, of in the running, the can Guard run for CSM now? Of course he can. I We've been so. telling him to do not. that for six months. Manic says he is not in the long. running. He has a month since the summit. Yeah, he should run. That'd be funny. That's rip that's the CCP sad, Neo dream. Oh, uh, Manic's not in the running. That sucks. But yeah, uh, so but bonus skill point weekend, and, and you know we'll probably get to this in a little while when we talk about the AMA and whatnot. But um, um, I believe I, I believe Hilmar did mention something about about this within the within the discussion on talking in stations after the AMA. And, you know, he was talking about stuff, you know, st stuff like stream and whatnot, right? And, and I, I think I understood it right that, you know, look, they're, you know, they're, they're trying to get the phrasing right. They're trying to get these things. They're trying to test things that like, you know, kind of, you know, spur, spur that being seen in places like Steam. And, and you know what? I totally fucking get that. I do. I you know I can't I can't bitch about that kind of thing. Yeah, I, but my disagreements with with kind of the, the and, and somebody was sitting there the other day shitting on the fact of if anybody says anything negative about free skill points or anything like that, that somehow they're just a fucking terrible bitter vet that's just trying to protect their lead in in skill points and shit like that. And it's like that's not what it is. I'm I'm okay with with giving away things you know uh, at a reasonable rate or whatever for doing something. 
not literally just for getting to the login screen and going, whoops, thanks. You don't even have to put it on a character. Or, I mean, no, you yeah, don't even have to like, log into an actual right. character. And not for 180 skill days, points you know. go into your redeemable items. Yeah, yeah. And then you right. just I mean, you don't even have to pick a character. I, I, look, my whole thing about it is, at least for new players, great. Skill points are great. For veteran players, we don't give a shit. I, I mean, unless what? it's like a lot of skill points, like with the, the booster the last time around, which I'm not even, I don't even talk about it. I'm still triggered about it. Um, just throwing skill points, 25,000 skill points. That's that's like a day of training. Okay. 25,000 is, 25, is like half a day. 50,000 is like a full day. Right. So it's like, okay. who cares? For, for that, somebody with 160 million skill agreed. points like Brisk has, it doesn't matter. For somebody that has 5 million, hey, that's not bad. Yeah, absolutely, so, absolutely. For new bros, I it's, mean, that's it's I just still, oh, down. Oh, it's, it's oh, new hold bros. on, because the whole argument about about skill and uh, anything that deals with skill, okay, as far as a subject matter, skills that uh, as far as subject matter goes, in terms of skill injectors or bonus points or what they give away free because last year they fucked up on the chat system or whatever. Okay. It's like, it always comes down to new bros. Absolutely. It is totally going to benefit new bros. And that should be the thing that we all freaking care about in all of this, right? Veterans, fuck them, whatever. Okay. Except for when you put something in the game that is there to benefit newer players and veterans take wholesale fucking advantage of it and it really kind of you know deteriorates the whole idea of what, what, of what, what you were trying to do advantage mean to you wholesale advantage would be like you know when they made the rorkel changes at the same time they made the skill injector things and like bam poof, you know blow uh, up a fucking pilots. i mean Rorkels, I, I use blow my up of super pilots to, blow up of titan pilots i use my skill points to boost my secondary like secondary characters on accounts I mean, yeah, people, yeah i just like, i used it for sign of waltz that's what i used mine for i used it but, for Tech well, now that, but, now, that, but, now that I need to get my Hulk army going, the, re I need to, the uh, reason why I want them to to do free uh, do bonus weekends or weeks or fucking months or whatever the hell it is that they want to do, right, is to allow those people who 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 you know are is to basically do it for people who are doing stuff in the game. Make them have to do something. Put a small, I'm not talking about a roadblock. Talk, I'm talking about putting a speed bump in, okay? That basically says, if all your accounts are is a fucking SP farm, don't feed their fucking cows. I feel you there. I mean, I don't really SP farm or anything, but I, I, I get what you're saying. I mean, th th that, that's Undock. the thing. There's not Undock. enough. Even These if it's just a knock. These are not enough to be that big a deal for the skill farmers. It's it's twenty five minutes. It's fifty. It's, I mean, it's, it's not, not five hundred thousand. It's, it's not a lot. It's, it, it's free. It's, it's what two hundred and fifty thousand dollars over the course of this weekend. Uh, two hundred two hundred fifty thousand SP <laughs> over the course of this weekend. That's that's uh, half of I, an injector. Uh, uh, okay, that's, that's half of an injector. That's like a week worth. They of do skill four points. injectors a month. I mean, no, I, I mean, I get what he's, I get what he's saying. I mean, he's just saying that you, know, you shouldn't be rewarded for just turning on the turning on the game and then logging off again. I mean, that's I mean, well. I mean, that's uh, true. But I I guess the whole point is, if you log in, you're more likely to stick around for a couple of minutes than you are to just log in and log out. Some of those of us who play I every mean, day, yeah, actually, I log I in in the morning and make sure I catch everything, but then I log in again later anyway. I think the so, I, I think the idea behind the dailies was more along those lines. Here, no. Yeah, here. Well, I mean, uh. Yeah, I just, once you're out in space, maybe. Like literally right before but, the show, I'm like, oh shit, my skill just points logged in. Screen? Click, click. All right, got him. Then I locked out because I had to put. The, so should we tell them that they need to make it so that you can't redeem it unless you undock? Well, I mean, maybe, I don't know if they maybe attach the un we'll undock. Undock is what gets it because because honestly, at that point, it's like, look, if you can't even log in, well, make it part of the character um, and then undock to get it for the account. I mean, maybe attach like skill point rewards to some of the. What is it like the uh, the achievements on the on the agency thing or whatever? No, no, no. I've already hit all the achievements. That that's not gonna work for me. <laughs> Why don't they make you have to go pick it up at a station? Oh, maybe. Okay, and I, and, I, you have and to somebody says, in, in my opinion, somewhere. there's more deeper pro There's more deeper problems. Bracket sick. Uh, 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 than SP farmers really. Look, I I'm not saying there's not, but in relation to this. I'm just saying, come on. Just a little bit of a speed bump, maybe? Come on. Are we still arguing about skill points and free stuff? 
I, I, I think just talking. I, I'm gonna be. Why does it have to be arguing, Rain? Yeah, yeah. I'm Why not can't we just have a conversation? What the Why fuck do you want to talk about, Rain? The Alliance tournament. We're just talking. No, I just, I made a bunch of notes, and there was some cool stuff that happened over the weekend, but you guys are talking yeah. about, like, what came out today, and what's happening this weekend, and it's, like, kind of boring. Okay. You want to talk about after them again? We'll move, up, we'll move off Lovely. this. Hey, by the way, there is a sale going on currently right now. Don't even fucking start for, with that. For Omega, <laughs> for Omega Time in EVE Online, uh, it's in, it's in Plex, so therefore it's in the uh, NES store, or really it's just through your character sheet that you can buy it if you've already got the Plex in your vault and shit like that. Um, where it's what, a, a 15% discount off of, so instead of 500, it's 425, I think, for you to get 30 days worth of, uh, worth of game time right now. I'm confused, I was confused by the, by what this, what, when I, normally they do a Plex sale, it's just cheaper dollars, like on the real world dollars to buy the Plex. Which causes an infusion of more plex on the market. This is like just adding a use. It's gonna. It's <laughs> rip, like <laughs> fucking manic. Uh, sorry, Brisk. Are we not, I know you don't want to dive into this yet. <laughs> no, no. I hold on. This would normally be, and we can come back to the fact of what you may may or may not have a problem with. Now we could do it later. It's up to you. Um, we're putting out the normal stuff that we would at the beginning of a show. That hey, log the fuck in, get your free skill points, and B, there's a, there's a sale going on. If you are you know Plex rich, you know go get yourself some discounted Plex time. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna freak out right now. I'll freak out later. Okay. Are you still triggered. on your Lent thing? I am, and that's why I'm sober, and that's why I'm. But more he wants, than no, he wants no, me tonight. to no, be less sober when he out. freaks Let's out. Get over with. <laughs> no, do I'm, let's do it. No. no. No, no. We'll do it later. Rain wants to talk about Amsterdam. You listen to me, bitch, later. Well, yeah, Let's anyways, talk about Amsterdam first. Anyway, so there is the sale going on. Go out there, take advantage of the sale if you're somebody you know, you know, that has Plex and normally play, and normally and normally Plexes your account um, you know, you know, that way. Well, now's the now's the time for multiple just so it, Plexing. Oh, hold on, just so everybody knows, right? Like if you're a cash payer of of paying for your account. A traditional subscriber they used to call them okay um you would get deal you would get deals for like the longer periods of time that you bought that you bought game time for right you know so if you if did you three months front, you yeah. got a, yeah if you bought three months you it would be at a slightly lower per month rate than one month at a time they and so on that. out to a year and shit like that right it's it, it's not that often that they do these game time in plex you know for the plexers out there so there you go Now's your chance. This is how you fucking get, like, you know, a little discount and shit. They could have done multiple character training. They could have done extractors like they do all the time, which, as we know, multiple character training and extractors benefits who? The pig They farmers. could have just Me. done a fucking Plex sale, and that would have been great. They do or they could do, have done a fucking sale on subscription, which also would have been great. They, they had to pick the one thing to fuck over the market after we spent the last two weeks telling these guys to stop fucking over the market, and they need to fix it. All right, I I wasn't gonna get no, into it. But, I, mean, I wasn't gonna, gonna get into it, but I got into it. I am so pissed off. Hold, hold this is such Let him fucking bullshit. I mean, look, the bottom line, and and and, and I'll tell you this: me, Aerith, the rest of CSM, we've been telling these guys this for two weeks. Plex prices are out of control. They were out of control last week. They went up fifty percent in three days. We talked about it last week. The we had thank you to I choose you for dumping. Five hundred and seventy-seven thousand much much? in the market and dropping the price. They went up. We how told much? CCP to do that. They went up. How we much? told them to make a statement in Amsterdam saying, "Hey, much? this is too much." How much brisk? How much did they go up? Fifteen or 50? it went up more than fifteen percent. Oh. It went up literally. It was up to like four point seven when it started going back down. The bottom line: what we told these guys in the summit is in the fucking minutes. You go over three point five million per uh, per per plex, and bad things start to happen. You get up to five million, and we're going to see legitimate attrition rates. People are going to stop fucking playing the game because they can't plex their accounts. And I don't want to hear any bullshit about oh, you, know, you shouldn't have to plex your accounts. Why don't people just buy subscriptions? Fuck that. People, this is how the game is played. It's how people do it. There are a lot of folks that make a lot of money that this pay for their accounts. This is how they created it. How they but that's it. correct. It's this is how it's been. So the bottom line is, you get that high, and subs and subscriptions are over 2.2 billion, 2.4 billion. People stop. They're not going to plex our accounts. We told them that, and I feel like it's like CCP. You we don't told fucking them that listen. Six hundred million. We have told them that a million times, and it's like every time. I mean, 
I, I was so happy with Amsterdam. They go out there. They had this finely crafted statement about we're keeping an eye on Plex prices. We're going to watch Plex prices. If they get too high, we reserve the right to step in and take action. That's exactly what a central bank would say. That's exactly what you're supposed to say. And then some idiot in the fucking brand department decides to run a goddamn sale, the absolute wrong sale, that all it's going to do is increase the amount of demand for Plex and reduce the amount of supply for Plex because people are already buying the shit out of it because they want to get as much game time as they can before the nerfs of the works go in. And it's and, and everything's back up. It's already out. I saw Plex was already up to at least 4.6 before I, I checked Holy into shit. it. So if you got it's Plex, like, sell it now. What the fuck? Yes, if you got Plex, sell it now. Make a well, ton well, of money. So, so I'm but wondering... it's like, Jesus Christ, guys. It's like you, this is basic, basic macroeconomics. It's high school fucking macro. You change supply, it goes down, demand goes up, price goes up. This is well, basic I, I, shit. Why oh, do I have to fucking explain this to them I, I, every I goddamn I, hold time? On, hold on, okay. you can't just throw the fucking supply and demand thing out there as though as though that somehow solves the fucking riddle. Well, well it's I, not I, even. It's not even. It's not even. It doesn't even solve the riddle. The hey, bottom uh, line is, as, as when you're somehow, having as having inflationary pressure, don't fuck point. with things this way. As though it somehow proves your point, okay? Which your point is completely failed to begin with. I have a question with the now that this is going to be in the future. So, if people now that the the Plex prices shot up, the people that are stockpiling Plex might be dumping some on the market to have like a high payout. All the people that are now infusing their accounts with all this Plex because, and like, it's not just like they're buying it. They actually have to use it to get uh, advantage of the sale, which means that if a bunch of people are now using all this Plex now, possibly for like multiple months worth of time, is that going to cause a much reduced demand in the future, like in the near future and then causing Plex prices to fall later? It's not. I mean, the problem, the problem is, is that you're buying up all the supply on the market because people are going to try to buy as much as they can to take advantage of the fact that they can get 30 days worth of game time for less money than they would any other time of the year. So that is going to drive people to buy more Plex, which is going to reduce the amount on the market, which is going to drive the price up. Because every time there's there's more demand and lower supply, prices go up. It's, frust it's frustrating to me because I don't want to see people get pushed out of, of, of playing the game because the price of Plex is too high. And that's what's basically happening. And we, we, I already thought that we passed the, you know, a bad point last week. And I was very happy that it started going back down and it was getting back to reasonable levels again. And I mean, yes, if you have money, if you're like me, if you're a whale and you can drop 500 bucks on Plex a week and nobody cares, then yeah, you're doing great. Well, you but if you're some, in game or if you're some, out of game? both, but it, I mean, regardless, well, the point is, you it's can, not, it's not fucking regardless. Like, the term whale, the term whale in the gaming industry has to do with people who spend big real money on the outside to come in, to come inside. Look, I can spend as much as I want on this game. It's not going to be an issue. And yes, I am a whale. I'm an idiot. I'm fucking concierge level in Star Citizen and I've played it like four times. The bottom line is I have money to spend. I spend it on EVE. I am, I am a target for them, which is great, but I'm not the main player. I, I only have five accounts. I'm not some kind of crazy guy with like multiple 15 fucking titans out there multi-boxing right. eight, eight accounts at one time i i, the point I, I is, have five accounts i, know, I got two I accounts right. so so for the for the for the folks out there who run a lot of accounts particularly the hardcore veteran players and i'm not talking about the skill farmers i'm talking about guys that actually put these ships out there to fly the more time you make them spend crabbing is the less time they're out doing other stuff and that's it just frustrates me and we're at the point now where people are going to stop with plexing their accounts because they can't afford to do it. And it's because they keep doing stupid shit instead of trying to find ways, and there are multiple ways that they can do it, and they know they have these tools, to reduce the price of prex without having you know any kind of craziness. So it's like, I mean, the one thing they could have done that would have been simple is what we've been asking for for a while, which is a subscription uh, uh, sale. We haven't had a subscription sale in more than a year. You know, they could have they could have done a Plex sale, which is what I suggested well, they do last week. They could have dumped confiscated Plex on the market like they've done in the past. It's like so that's, there's multiple ways they could have done to drive the price down. And they why, do the one thing that's designed to drive the price up. You, it's like what the I, fuck? I'm sorry, you're on you're you're on the CSM. Um have they have they dumped confiscated Plex onto the market as a form of kind of monetary policy mechanism um in the last since you've been on the CSM? 
No, they have not done that okay. since I've been on the CSN. They've not done that since, I believe, Dr. Reed left, which is, like, for fucking ever ago. So, like, let's get that idea of what it is they do at a thing. Uh, they I, have I would, done I would, it I would before, also like which is why I'm saying, I'm saying because it's not unprecedented. I, I would also, I would also like to, no, that's right. And after he left and after the, the Eve central bank basically went away, um, they basically stopped doing that. And they said, they're going to manage things through sales. Okay. Sales of Plex. If, you know, if Plex goes too high, then they can manage it through a sale of real money for Plex out there. Right. Um, but, but let me also ask you, since you're on the, since you're on the CSM, do you, do you understand what, what Plex is for in this game? Is it is it so people can play for space pixel money, or is it for something else? I, I know the answer you're getting out of this, Dirk, because I've heard you say I'm it. I'm not a asking times. you. I'm asking know, the CSM guy. Dirk, obviously, it's a revenue tool for the company. I mean, it's not. I'm not stupid. All right. Yes, they want to make money, and yes, when there's higher demand because the prices are high in the game, it's good for them as a company. But it's not good for them as a company when people stop playing the game because the price is too high. Okay. And that's the issue. We need it's... butts and seats. We need people physically playing the game. If you if we need characters logging in in space, not skill farms, actual characters doing stuff. So if the guy that runs the 20 work walls can't log in his 20 work walls because he can't make enough money to, to do that, that's 20 less targets for folks to go out and find. So I don't want to see that happening, and that's what I think is going to happen when it hits the five million mark. Okay. So before, I mean, bef it's just before bad, before it's noisy bad. punches me in the freaking asshole, okay, you know, from outside or whatever. Um, it was not just a revenue generator. It is a tool to fight real money trading. It is giving a it is giving a an outlet for players that want to spend real money to buy ISK a non-illicit way of doing so. That is first and foremost, its primary reason for existence, period. Which, as I said, is specifically so that CCP can make money rather than the money being made by RMTers and taking it out of the game. So at the end of the day, it's revenue for them. And yes, it's, it's obviously about RMT. But the point is, Eve was one of the first games that went to that model. He was one of the first games where you could make enough in-game currency to buy your subscription time. And they have made that a fundamental aspect of EVE and everybody takes advantage of it. That's how veterans can afford to have what's 15, the right 20 accounts. What's the, what is the right price for Plex and how is it you and Aerith and whatever cabal that is talking to CCP on an insider basis uh, using to come up with that price? Now, first of all, the way you're saying that makes you makes makes it sound like you think that we are somehow manipulating the market? No, no, no. I, we are I, not. I just, mean, I just mean the internal people that have a direct line to yelling at CCP directly and not over the airwaves or not out in the forums. I, okay, so let me take Cabal out of it. Whatever insider smoke-filled room of players, what is the correct price that you guys think, and why do you think that that is the correct price being a, being a guy who believes in the free market? All right, now... Take that free market stuff and stick it up your ass, because I don't believe in the free market. Oh, I believe in regulated markets. Okay, I'm a union guy. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a crazy free market capitalist. Okay, but, but but regardless, what I have said and what we mentioned in the minutes, what I think is that you take a medium to low level income generation amount. You look at how much you can get from running high sec missions, uh, level fours and high sec, or um, moon mining and high sec or something that is relatively low isk income generating and it's okay for regular players to do and now we have to take a shot and you peg that based on the number of hours so i say take high sec level four missions whatever the amount is if you can plex your account by running 20 hours or 25 hours worth of those a month then that's okay so you're Anything looking for you're looking for like kind of a kind of a uh, uh, minimum wage scenario here. I'm not looking at a minimum wage. I'm looking you at what's realistic. You not only want to regulate for... the Plex market in terms I, of a I monetary want... type of thing. You want to also institute something where it basically says um, um, a living wage. No, what I'm saying is, is that I don't want people to have to spend most of their time in the game crabbing 
instead of doing other things that they would rather be doing. If they want to crab all day, they fine, crab. Crab as much to, as you want. They don't have to do that. Here, okay, here. Let, let, let me just ask you this question, okay? Because we're going to get we're, we're kind of going to get back to the fundamentals here, okay? Um the only thing that truly matters when it comes to Plex, all right, is are players out there willing to spend real money to buy Plex to then sell into the market? And are there enough players in the game willing to sop up that supply? Right? Because sure, because sure. because once that's because once that is done, once that transaction is done, CCP has achieved their primary goal of get, of providing an outlet for players to use real money to buy an item that they could sell into the game and get in-game currency for it. The real money trading transaction that they the, that they consider to be fine okay everything else that happens after that is purely in game it is purely the result of everything going on in the game okay okay so this is one of the things this is why we don't see freaking genuine inflation in other parts of the game plex is a completely different beast the monetary items are a completely different beast okay than everything else in the game people can talk about the inflation of this or the inflation of that the inflation of this and that is all fucking bullshit because it's all it, it's not it's it, it's not finite the level of supply that is out there because ccp can tweak it themselves here they Which can't is correct. tweak and it the, themselves and the point is if you look at the cpi and the and the monthly economic reports it's not inflation of non-plex items is not a big deal you're right so as long as there, what what we do know to be the fact, given the rise, okay, that Plex always seems to have over the long term, not the peaks and valleys, okay, but the long term trend is always up, right? And that is because they continue to add more demand drivers to the use of Plex, okay, for those people who want to use Plex for something. That's not the guy who's out there spending money on Plex. That's the people who have ISK to spend on it, okay? They continue to add more demand drivers to it as well as they continue to juice the freaking internal economics of the game to allow more isk faucets to rain more isk down on people it is also the one and only actual true wealth uh place that you can store wealth 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 storage kind of thing it's the gold for like you know the, the and, I, and i agree with that but the point the point that i'm making is is that the fact that people use plex as a means to ensure that they can keep playing the game at an omega level. And I'm not just talking about the guys running 20 rorks. There are a lot of places in the world that have solid Eve communities, Eastern Europe, for example, that 1495 or 15 euros a month is a lot of money. It's three times the minimum wage and whatever the amount of euros is, 20, I don't know what it is. But the point is, is that it's a lot of money. And it's easier for those players to plex their accounts and stay in the game than it is for them to pay for a subscription. I've always paid for a subscription because I, I don't do. care. I mean, I, I don't care about accounts, the money. So the money like, doesn't I mean, bother me. I understand. You know, what Seventy like bucks a 10... month for me to play Eve. Okay, fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, spend uh, that I mean, down at the bar anyway. But the thing is, like, people that have like 10, 20 accounts, they're obviously not going to be spending, you know, several. I mean, maybe some do, but several hundreds of dollars a month. So, like, those are the ones that need to be plexing their shit. Well, look, look, the economics of running a gang of whatever out there that makes you the kind of thing, like, it, it begins to change over time, all right, as the price of Plex, hold on a second, as, I should have fucking shut that door earlier, I was getting way too fucking loud with that door <laughs> open, uh, um, as the price of Plex goes higher and the ability to Plex your account, okay, becomes more difficult those people out there that are running all of these accounts that are basically set up to like grind and grind and grind, uh, it begins to deteriorate. But, but guess what? Your number of accounts that you were running for grinding was artificially inflated by what may have been a Plex price that was too low. We do know this to be the case back when they introduced mining anomalies and things like that. And Plex was at like, I don't know, like four, 450 million for a yeah, month's was, worth of game time. Yeah, it was it was about that when I first started playing. Because I, I remember, yeah. So, I mean, that was, what, fucking 2012, but what is it, seven years later, it's gone up to 
massively more than Arox, that. Arox, che- Cheetah out there says, I don't feel the analogy is correct. People use Plex in the same way gold is used in real life. Normal punters pick up Plex uh, for those reasons Briss says, but that's not how Plex works. That's absolutely not true. There's an incredible Some amount. Wealth protection. There are a lot of, look, there, there's and, an incredible Dirk's amount of right, Plex that, that is regard. owned out there by, by people who just have so much ISK based wealth. ISK based wealth does you nothing unless you are actively trying to grow it through some sort of market mechanism or, or, or something else, right? Even then, um, it's not however, even that. It's, it's the bottom line Plex. is that you can put it Plex, in Plex and think it's going nowhere but over long term higher. Correct. And that's the point. It's, it's, it's like the 401k. Gold. So, what happens? So, what folks do when they want to take a break from the game? They liquidate all their assets, they buy a bunch of Plex, they let it sit there, they stop playing for a while, they come back and they, they have something that they it's guaranteed to provide them with enough in-game currency that they can go ahead and do whatever they want. That's what they do. I, we know that, that that's true. They, you know, they, they And the fact is, what I feel like what, what I feel like triggered some of the stuff last week was a mix of a lot of things, but frankly, I think the work wall nerfs and the super nerfs combined made people see, all right, my income's going to drop. I need to buy Plex now to make sure that I can keep uh, Omega in my accounts because I don't know what is going to happen to my income in the future, whether I'm going to be able to afford to do it or not. So that was a hedge from a lot of players to go in there and make sure they had enough game time stored up in terms of Plex. And that's what caused the run on Plex, which dropped, which increased the price so much, which is why I wanted them to do a sale. So guys like me can buy even more than we normally do and dump it on the market. And that way there's still cheap Plex available for folks this was the who weirdest, weren't smart enough to figure this out. This was the weirdest sale because I don't think I've ever seen them reduce the amount of Plex that you need to they've, to add game time. They've, they've done they've, it before, but it's very rare, yeah. Well, I mean, have they? Because like, yep. unless it's within the last couple they, years before, that, I, that I was just single Plexes. So it wasn't broken up into the 500 right. Plex. No, I, I've seen the whole thing. The whole breaking it up thing has been a huge... Uh... Well, that was the purely balls, just for the, the, the ARA market, so they could just make it all one currency, but... Well, uh, yes. Okay, the thir- yes. Or the 13 yeah. account that, that was just the reason for the breakup. getting the all matters. that stuff... For, uh, for the folks in the chat talking about 13 accounts, look, the 13 accounts thing was from Ghost Presentation in Amsterdam. He was talking about the 1% of the 1% elite hardcore players. There are not that many. There's probably a 1,000 in the game. He was not talking about regular hardcore players. I consider myself a regular hardcore player. I got five accounts. You know, most of the hardcore players that I know that play literally play every day, they have five accounts. But maybe look, less, maybe fewer than that. I mean, so if we want, if we want to wrap up this Plex thing, okay, which I'm totally, I'm totally fine with. Let me just say this, okay? The price for Plex is absolutely correct. Okay, it is where the market has taken it. It is where Eve's economy has taken it. it but is, it's not oh, dark. Hold on. Hold on a second. It is where all of the things, all of the things, this sale is not the problem, Brisk. This fucking economy is the problem. The wealth There's not a, disparity look, that, no, that's is the, the exact problem. opposite. Now, 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 now you're saying the exact opposite of what's reality. The, the sale is the problem. The economy is the economy. You're saying the price of price is the price of price. It's obviously, it's correct. I'm no, saying, I'm saying because that the, it's I'm obviously the regulated. Devalu- the devaluation. It's regulated and it can be manipulated. Because there are enough players with enough in-game currency that I mean, if if the D- Aris wanted to buy up the entire Plex market in GDA, he yes. could do it. Yes, he could. I mean, people yes, can do that, and that is one of the problems that is out there. Okay, look, there is so much excess isk in this game there is so much excess money in this game and not just in the hands of the top one percent or 0.5 percent but in the entirety of the fucking game what you don't see okay is that driving inflationary prices on other items in the game because they have also opened up the faucets on those things over time therefore there's excess minerals in the game as well and there's excess moon goo in the game yeah, as well and there's excess all believe... of these things in the game as well what there's not excess of because they can't control it are things that are based on real money like fucking Plex. No, I so that, of course they can actually control actually it. Legitimate what are you talking about they can't control it? They, they, they have, can't control it because Dirk, they can't yes, control me. They, they can't control Dirk. me reaching into my wallet to pay real money for Dirk, that. Actually, yes, they, they can. can. Yeah, they what are you can. fucking people, nuts? Dirk, people have got why do you think, they, why do you think companies run sales? 
Why do you think they've reduced the price if they want to increase demand? There's hey, only, you know what? There's I wouldn't buy that. I wouldn't buy that Plex for 100 bucks. There but it's only 75 hey, I'll buy hey, it now. There is a has limited... contacted players before saying, hey, we saw you purchase a bunch of Plex. If you plan on crashing the market, don't or we're going to ban you. They have actually emailed that to players That's selling before, excess who Plex. spend tons and tons of Plex thinking, oh, I'm just going to dump it in the market and like get trillions of ISK. And CCP has stopped them from doing that. The oh, market is yes, regulated. They have. they have tools they can use. They are essentially the central bank. They need to act like it. And when they do stupid shit, when the company is not thinking, or at least, I don't know how this happened. And, I mean, we brought it up in our meeting today, and I can't go into the details about what they told us, but the bottom line is what I told them flat out was, I'm going to shit on you, and I'm going to shit on you hard, because this was a bad decision, and you guys fucked it up. And at the, at the bottom line, when we are trying to get Plex prices down, when we want to make sure that we're not hurting the game long term and getting people to quit playing because they can't afford to plex their accounts, you guys did the exact opposite of what you should have done, which is what we told you last week, which was either run a sale or dump some confiscated plex on the market or run a sale on subscriptions that locks players into playing. And they did the opposite of it. And it was stupid. And I understand. I can, I can even see them sitting in the meeting saying, well, if we're worried about plex prices... We're worried about people being able to plex their accounts for a month. Why don't we make it cheaper for them to plex their accounts for a month? Here, let's do this. Not realizing the the, the macroeconomic effects of doing that. I, so, well, I guess I, I mean, the question it's just, is, it's are just they... stupid shit. It was dumb. It was a bad decision. I, I will agree with you that it is stupid shit if you tell me they are worried about the price of plex being too damn high. Why would they not be worried about that? Why... Uh, because it encourages the minority of people out there who use real dollars to buy Plex to sell into the market, okay? It encourages more of that because they will get more ISK there, for their that dollar. Is, that, yes, and you know what? That is, that, is the, that is the argument that I would expect from every fifth grader who doesn't think about the long-term health of the economy and is only concerned about tomorrow. That is a sugar yeah. high for CCP. That is not a long-term growth idea. To what that honest, does is it's going to help somebody. Help one in, idea for it's what? not for the game. Hold, you hold don't on. want to get people to stop playing the game. Period. You don't so, want to do anything that gets people to stop playing the game. And when you increase plex prices, yeah, somebody like me is going to say, "Oh, I can get a shit ton of this for that. I'm going to go do it." That's going to give them a sugar high revenue boost in the in the long in the short term, which is good, I suppose. But in the long run, all the other players that don't do that, what's your goal? Stop here? playing, and they're going to lose content. And what's that your goal? The, well, that's not even that. That's the like, best so the problem. I have what's... probably six six accounts right now. I have two sub because there's there's no reason for me the other one sub because price flex prices are so fucking high. So like two, I pay out of pocket. The rest of them are off right now, just because I don't want to fucking flex them. It's not worth it. Before I would just flex Bingo. them training. Brisk, Brisk, what's your goal here? Uh, would you rather have Plex be at a much lower rate so there are more characters subscribed to the game, um, or or is your goal something different? I mean, like, it, it sounds like your goal is to maximize, which which honestly, honestly, CCP should be trying to maximize the two things, right? Except for the fact that like kind of they they have an impetus to maximize more the dollar side of it than they do than they do the number of players in the game. But there is kind of a fucking trade off there, right? You know, you don't want to fuck the game up, right? You don't want there to be only like twelve people left playing because you drove the price of Plex so high that nobody could Plex, and oh my God, everybody. He was totally fucking flexing. Look, like here's they, here's they what have I, here's to what know I'm those say. numbers, right? Look, here's what I'm going to say. Okay, what I would like to see is Plex back down to around three and a half million. And I think at the end of the day, I think McLeod was absolutely right. You, you, the the best way to look at this is take a moderate income stream in the game that's easily producible. It only takes twenty hours or so a month. That's an hour less than an hour playing a night in order to plex your account. That gives you time to do other stuff. That's what you look at, all right? Now, the whole thing, oh, Brisk is out of touch with new players. Fuck that, okay? If you're a new player, you shouldn't be plexing your accounts in the right. first place. It's no, cheaper shouldn't. for a new player to subscribe until he learns how to play the game. If you figure out ways if to you're generate an old player, this, then you worry about to, plexing. If you're and an if you old want player, to spend, if you want to spend 50 bucks, to do the time. But, that's, but that's, if you want to spend 50 bucks on Plex, great, more power to you. No matter how, if, if Plex is at 3.5 million or 5 million, at the end of the day, you spend $100 on Plex, you're set for at least a couple months as a new player. Okay? That's great. 
even if it's a 2.7 like it was last year when they were running sales every other week it's still enough ask that you can use to be able to get the stuff that you want to do if you're a new player with a low skill coin char character anyway you're not going to be spending 60 billion on a titan because you can't fly the thing so all that stuff doesn't matter the fact is i i suggest to every new player that i talk to sub for the first couple months figure out how to play the game figure out how to make money and then if you want to go and plus your accounts then do that before that it's a waste of time and it's a waste of your money but for those of us and for the folks that have been doing this for a long time plex price is being too high the result is attrition people stop playing there's less content the game dies that's the bad thing i'm trying to get around i don't want it to go that high the economy will fall apart if it gets to be too high because the economy is based on things like plex and skill injectors and isk and there's all they the all go together is, and sales all go together and the, these guys don't want to think about the, it that way oh, it drives oh, me oh, crazy hold on, hold on hold on the economy is not in any way shape or fucking form tied to plex it's not the economy Dirk, of eve online yes, is not it is okay go ahead tell me how it is where is it in the mer is it in the is it in the consumer price index is it in the producer price index Dirk, plex as you have said is the gold i mean are, are you gonna sit there and say gold has no impact on the world economy at all the price of no, gold I'm not doesn't gonna, matter I'm not gonna on the world say, economy i'm not whatsoever. gonna not say that because okay there are a bunch of huge differences between the world economy and this one here when we talk about the eve economy though what part of the eve economy are you saying you're just talking about people's game time right i'm talking about people's game time i'm talking about as you said a place to park isk where you can guarantee you're going to get a return on the investment if you do it long term i mean look the bottom line is the health of the economy all of that stuff goes together because you have fewer, fewer people playing the game, that means you got fewer customers that are buying your stuff off the market. That would be you got bad. fewer folks that are mining, that are making making mineral wealth to build ships. You got fewer players generating content, and then that has a downstream effect on everything. So yeah, in that regard, yes, of course it's part of the economy, which is my point. Now I'm not saying that it's directly in there and that the health of of Plex is health of the economy. No, but the point is, all of it together hey, it's hey, symbiotic Mark. and you can't hey, fuck hey, with one thing without having downstream impacts on other stuff I'm, so when they run sales like this that are completely the opposite of what they should be doing bad shit happens and we're I, seeing that right now i'm one of the people that actually sits there and reads chat while while this shit is going on hey Mar halt here the economy is all about plex no it's not plex and i'm, lo and I'm looking plex, at this annabelle plex Beth. Is an the economy item. is fuck not like the plex okay you know, so pick pick who you want to argue with. Both, we got both Plex, people Plex out there. Plex is an item, okay, that you as a consumer are a fucking tool. You are a tool. Plex is there for a different reason, and they have just created demand drivers. Now, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that there is so much isk in this game that people have to spend on it that they can sit there and go, I'm willing to pay a higher price for Plex. I'm willing to pay a higher price for that because I've got a level of income in this game that allows me to pay that. And I'm sorry that it fucking hurts other people that don't have that level of income, okay? And believe me, I understand that there is a really good equilibrium out there somewhere, okay, for both uh, uh, Plex purchasers with real money as well as keeping subscribers to the game through Plex. I, I, I totally get that. But to sit there and freak the fuck out this week or last I'm week not... or when it was or when it was 600 million isk to be able to buy 30, ga th 30 days of game time, I'm sorry, we've been going through this for fucking years and this game has absolutely 100% driven where the price of Plex is going now, okay? And uh, along with CCP adding demand drivers is going to continue to drive it higher. Three years from now, if the show is still on, which it will be, okay, and I'll be really fucking like way older and like you know whatnot. Okay, we'll be talking about where shit. the fuck it is at that point and how Dirk. it's at twelve million. We'll get to okay, a listen. All right, that, that listen time. to me. All right, I am not sitting here freaking out saying the game's gonna die, the world is ending, the sky is falling. What I'm saying is, is that I think this is a problem. And I think that CCP, it's in their best interest and the long-term health of the game for them to try to step in and fix the problem in a way that makes sense. It doesn't have to be ham-fisted. Oh, CCP stepping in, though. It, I, I'm fine. Look, I, regulated markets, I don't have a problem with that. I, I wanted it to be something smart. 
like a week-long sale or something along those lines that would have a tendency to drive the price of Plex down. They didn't do that. They did the opposite. They did something where they ran a sale that's going to drive the price of Plex up. That's the how opposite of what I think they should be doing. How many and it times drives me crazy because I feel like from an economic standpoint, they know better. And somebody made this decision without talking to anybody else and they fucked up and, and some, how many has times to be, something has to be said about it because it's going to cause people to quit playing. I've how, already seen it on Twitter. I mean, many, Doom's talking about how I'm not, well, I'm not going to plex my accounts now because it's too much. <laughs> I've heard that from a dozen a dozen people. We had a whole argument on my on my uh, on our initiative Discord this morning well. about it. How many? I mean, look, how, I, how many times? It's, it's how many from, times over the course of the last year have they had sales on game time uh, through the NES store? You, you know, through, through four Plex. How many times have they had that relative to how many times have they had sales for for dollar based subscriptions? relative to how many times have they had sales for um multiple character training or how many times they've had sales for extractors i don't the have o- data. the other all i can tell you is anecdotally well, is that, that I... out because if this is the one if this is the first fucking time that they've done this in the last 12 months i'm it, sorry I, i'm pretty sure that it is and what they've done right now no sorry in the I mean, last 12 I months think... In the last 12 months for me. Not, not forever. I don't remember them doing it in the last I, I thought, oh, okay. I thought maybe I'm just thinking of it being sooner. Well, what are the... What are the well, before, in the summer of last year, they were running MCT sales every week. They were running uh, Humble Bundle sales and, and, and starter Galaxy Starter, whatever the hell thing, sales all the time. They were running Hold Plex, on, straight up Plex sales all the time. This makes me... Well, okay, so I have, I have one real quick question. Um... Uh, so before in the in the past, like you know, you're saying they're doing the central bank thing. They would introduce uh, confiscated Plex that, from RMT captured accounts and stuff like that. To now they wouldn't like flood the market, but they would trickle in enough that it would you know stabilize or, or like you know cause uh, prevent the price from spiking at certain times. Why don't they do that anymore? If they used to do that before, why do they don't why don't they do it now? Trading, I don't know, and that's what I've been asking them. It's like guys, well, you where have were these you? Tools. Where were you back when that change happened? I mean, like. Do they uh, look, stop, look, or are they, look, have they just not done look, it yet I, I can't even. I can't even believe they have that, not done it that recently. veterans it's not that who claim to have been around this game for as long as they have are still having this fucking conversation. Dirk, it doesn't. Dirk, the whole point is, and, and, and this is what's driving me crazy. You're ignoring the fact that on, back Chris, in the day when Plex was 300 or 600. Shots. Every copy. The 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 types of things that people did. To, to make is, ISK were different, and they weren't as efficient. And I mean, when you got blame, when you got right. super ratting and titan ratting, where you could oh, make wait, 100 million ISK an hour, as opposed to when it t- took two weeks to make 100 million ISK, and the right. price obviously going to be different. Okay. So, so the, the amount problem, of so the how problem, how fast problem, you can generate problem, income in the game okay, so has an impact on the price. Is the price. problem their sale, or is the problem okay? <laughs> hold, uh, just, just hold on, hold on, please, everybody, one, just one second, LB. Just, just one second. Is the problem Spiral, with this things. particular sale that has probably only happened one time in the last 12 months, okay? Or is their problem their faucets, both ISK faucets as well as resource faucets, and the ability to access those things? Why bitch about a sale when what you should be bitching about are the other things? Dirk, oh, look, I, I have been. Can I, Why the on. fuck do you think we got work nerfs Hold on. and super Press, nerfs? Hold on a second. Hold on. Go ahead. Uh, Elby's first. Elby's first. Hold on. El- no, wait. <laughs> Sorry, this is not the Brisk and Dirk show. Elby, Elby go. Because no, Elby's been I waiting. Just for... wanna, I'm, I'm wondering, how can we blame Pearl Abyss for this? Is there some way we can spin it so that we can blame okay. the game somehow? Yeah, okay. okay stop whatever, it, Elby. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Packet, Packet Creeper said, Brisk is speaking the truth. I can afford to spend money on accounts, but I don't want to. I've been flexing my two Omega accounts since October. But I don't now want it's getting to. Too expensive, too expensive time-wise to play. Tell me why I would not go alpha on the accounts. Oh, so, I mean, shit. I just got right. a new thing. What? What? Uh, Manic just sent me an animated GIF we can use for the the shot light. That's way better. Anyway, oh, thanks. Right. Hook it up. Hook it up. Good. L- light it the fuck up. I'll do another one. Okay. Um, my my question to that my question to that is, what were you doing to generate your isk, and why now do you believe that like go- because I'm gonna tell you right now. A single omega or even two omegas really aren't capable of of uh, 
generating the kind of isk over the course of a month that you would need to, uh, I guess, unless you were a freaking like, you know, really super stellar fucking market trader or something like that. And then, and then honestly, I got to say, I don't fucking suck, give fuck, suck a dick. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Like, <laughs> like, like, like what? I, I, I would want to know more specifics about what that person was, was meaning about how they like generate their freaking isk. And all of a sudden now it's like, oh, you know what? It's just not fucking worth it to me anymore. Look, the thing uh, is, I mean, my, my answer to that player, it, it would be, I hope that you like the game and you want to keep playing it. And that's why you would end up going back to your subscription. But the problem is, is that a lot of people, they have choices and they're going to go with what's cheaper, or what's easier, or what is more fun at the moment. And that means that trying to get folks to make sure that they're available to log in is hard. So that's why I don't want to throw up barriers to it. Now, look, I agree with you a thousand percent, Dirk. You're absolutely right. Isk income generation off the charts. I asked in the minutes of the last CSM, I said flat out, I said, Alarican, I said, Alarican, is the current amount of ISK being generated in the game sustainable long term? He said, no. I said, great. And that means we got to nerf it. And that's why we started talking about nerfing Rorks, nerfing super ratting so that it's not as hard and not as easy. And they've done that slowly. They've changed anomaly times, respawn times. They've changed how the fighter mechanics work. Can they I say one the, word? I mean, we've done Just all that one stuff. Word. I'm going to say one word, and this will encompass everything that you need to fucking know about why Plex is where it is. Venezuela. What the fuck? Okay. By the way, in case you thought I ran out of Tito's, I did fucking not. <laughs> Look, the mere fact of the matter is, is that there are ways that fucking hyperinflation shows up in an economy, and it will not in EVE Online because they are basically, um, um, they are goosing both the fucking income side in terms of ISK generation and ISK wealth and all that kind of shit, right? as well as the internal game mechanic resource side of it. And that might be minerals, it might be moon goo, it might be all of these other like, you know, drops and shit like that out there. They're goosing that as well. So you don't see the price inflation actually happening out at the, at, at the lower level of things, okay? Where you see it is in the place where supply is limited. And it's limited by the number of people out there who are the dollar or euro or the money for uh monetary items plex extractors and things like that kind of buyers out there and yes they can have a sale that will encourage some of them to like do more now rather than later okay but they can't that's the one part of the economy that they the one part of the overall economy that they can't freaking juice out there because they've got to encourage those people as opposed to those of you in game who just want to fucking rope will mine all day or super rat all day or whatever it is you do to freaking grind isk that right there they can just hand you uh, they can hand it to you but you guys they can't do that on the plex side of the business and that's where the supply comes from, people. The new supply into the game comes from people willing to reach into their wallets and buy these things and put them on the market. Yes, and we know that. And that's the point. And it's guys like me. And it's folks that, I mean, look, CCP knows when players go out and when they're most likely to, to, to buy Plex. It's based around the strength of you know, real life currencies. It's based around holidays. It's based around tax season in the U.S. and elsewhere. Which one, which one of these people should we invite up? Deep Sapphire Four. Um, um, was there? I want one out whichever, there? whoever's agreeing with want, me. I would like to invite. Yeah, him. yeah, he's on. He's on your side. I like Deep so, Sapphire. Right, yeah. Deep Sapphire well, is on because, team, because team he's brisk. the one. As we, I like no, picked need, up my shot glass. We need like a juggernaut battle. We need like a we need a team brisk and a no, team no, dirt uh, candidate. There you no, go. No, I'm, I'm, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good standing in my fucking position because my position is, uh, you know, is honestly based on number one, what it is that they built Plex for, number two, fucking the economy, and number three, the market. So like, uh, I, and I, I am I'm fine with my position too ground. because yes, it's you're, based on you're a the long term health of the like game. Anna Oxana Cortez. Yes, I get Cause, it. Because because it's it's based on the long term health of the game. And it's based on making sure we have more players <laughs> playing co and, and generating content. Uh, and it's also wanna, based on also yeah, economics yeah, yeah. and also, the market. Are, are you sure? Yeah, wait, if you also wait, and wait, everything wait, else Dirk just said. If you also want to bring Hamar in on your side, we, we, we can Look, allow that too. 
all I, look we don't have to go into this anymore i it was already went way beyond what i wanted to well okay so, so real quick um the bottom line let me let me, just, let me finish this and i'll okay, shut okay, up okay, you're the guy go. that's like actually saying shut. this shit to ccp and they're just already fucking bad enough about the economic environment one, of this Dirk, game obviously having, they're not fucking listening having, to me which is the without, reason why i'm pissed without having fucking Hello? populists who just want a lower rent price in the fucking game look i'm fine with the lower rent price the bottom line is why i am mad is we identified the issue as being plex prices being too high and we asked ccp to go out there and try to do something about it and they did they made their statement in, in amsterdam which i thought was great and the, we saw the prices start to drop because people started putting supply out there so then what happens not even a fucking week later they run a sale that's designed to do the exact opposite of what we asked them to do it is this company that is that is that it, it is something that drives me absolutely crazy when it seems obvious to me that there are folks making decisions on a macro level about the health of the game that aren't paying attention to what's happening inside the game and it drives me nuts and that's my point so for all of you guys who say brisk is a ccp fanboy brisk thinks that will never say anything wrong brisk will never criticize ccp fuck you i just did i go. just i just think that you're actually like the hill you're willing to like you know prove your fucking manhood at, like to not be that is like the worst fucking economic story ever of course of course it is of course sir. of course it is if i had done that last week on the work wall changes you would have said oh we need to change it absolutely need to change it this is we can't fix it. you're just being you no know, it's a great pop disagreeable message. look hold, hold on hold on look and and uh somebody out there linked it before and i forget uh, i forget who it was now it may have, may have, may have been uh you know uh z master blood uh, bloodlust uh that that linked it out there the articles the article that i wrote in 2013 unfortunately there was an article that i wrote right before that article in 2013 when 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 the price of fucking plex was too damn high okay and noisy wrote one and it actually got on the fucking stage at fan fest and whoopee okay like i was wrong in the first one because i didn't actually like continue it on i didn't continue the fucking thought process on and this is exactly the same fucking thing now it is just a new generation of people who don't continue the thought process on now based on based on the first fucking articles that came out about why does plex even exist bitches they so could have a cash store of, for what, what does it have to do with what does it have to do with the with the issue right now the it issue has nothing right now to do is with it. quit trying to sit there and say that people deserve to have a lower fucking price i'm not for saying they deserve time. it i'm saying that the bottom line is is that they want it and if they don't have it they're gonna walk away I don't want them to walk away. I want them to play the game. I want them to log in and bring their rock walls out and put them on a moon so I can blow it the fuck up. Because that's how I play the game. So no I want caps, them to play the no game the way they want to play the game. You remember, it's nothing about just, deserves or, got, or whoa, 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 we should do this because to, I want it. I'm not. I'm talking about what's I swear to God, I swear to God, I want to debate every one of these fucking ignorant bitches out there in Twitch chat right now. You're debating me, and I'm not ignorant. So stop worrying about the clubs and talk to me then. No, but you don't want to talk to the talk to the regular normal people that play this game, Dirk. You're trying to fuck them, and they know it. I care for the people in the community. You populist motherfucker. Hey, um, hey, Wait, wait, hold on. What? Why did yeah, you? Yeah, Jaden, we're we're gate camping. Come gate camping. Yeah, with us. fuck it. I mean, I, I can't gate camp. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not talking about. You guys talk about anything else you want. I'm well, done. No, no, I'm not gonna, I hey, do you hear that? Uh, I'm not going to be dark tonight. The best yeah, so fucking, this is literally the best argument kind of thing we've ever had. No, no, I actually like it. Degenerates into like, you know, go suck a dick. Fuck you, Dirk. No, exactly. no, I, I, you pig I, fucker. No, I love it because um, <laughs> I don't know shit about economics. I did pretty bad in uh, high school economics class, so like, actually being able to, like, I'm just sitting back listening, learning, because it's like, fuck, all this shit's over my head, but it makes sense when you guys talk about it. Well, and then you guys argue. I'm like, well, but, but both dude, both well, no, people I sound mean, convincing. So who's and, more and that's convincing? Because it's like, look. Risk totally fucking has a point, okay? He does, and and, and it's and it's what I literally well, said obvious. out loud. I I didn't just allude to earlier. I literally said out loud, okay? There is an equilibrium out there about because there's the whole number of players, you can say players, whatever number of accounts <laughs> logged on in the game and in space, oh, and whether Here they cause go. content and things like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, I like like there's all of that out there, coupled with 
what they're really trying to do with the whole idea of Plex. And there needs to be a balance, okay? And I've been saying for years that their balance is fucked up. But, okay, they're not getting the whole fucking idea of how their entire underlying economy of this game is fucked up. It is just fucked up. And guess what? That leads to Plex because that's the only outlet for excess wealth in this game. All those people sitting on Plex out there aren't buying skins. They're, they are buying game time, probably. Okay. But they're, you know, they're not doing the things with it that it was designed to be consumed for. The consume side of it is completely off. The buy it side totally exists. And they fucked that up. And that should be the thing that smart minds on the CSM <laughs> are communicating to them. Hey, They're hey, just well, fucking off on right. the Loud equilibrium noise. side. All right, I, I, I got to cut it for one Dirt, second. Wait, like, wait, uh, wait. My, 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 I... my contractual obligation requires me to... Uh, no, I, I've been missing up because I didn't want to interrupt you guys. Shut but... the fuck up, packet creeper. I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt you guys, but um, a wild star, a wild star, nine months. That you asked uh, LB Avalok, and forty-three to months, up. and uh, Taran yeah. Lazarus way at the beginning of the show, three months. Thank you guys for the subs. Can I? Can I also call for a shot? Not only for those subs, but it's actually Manic Velocity's birthday today, and I feel what? like we did a shot at the I beginning feel... of the show for hold that. Hold on, hold on, hold no, on. No, we did a How shot. Did they they not hire him? Him? And I said happy birthday, Manic. Manic but we can do another one. on guard's he's last day on his birthday. No, he's not wanting to move. We'll That's do another one. Happy so birthday, like Manny. Well, Ma is Manny still agree. here? I think he just started his Matrix he left, stream. Yeah, he left. Are we doing? Uh, we doing a shot? Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, do a shot, a shot for Manny. Why not? We'll put the you thing say that like it's not, why it's not, not? It's like why would we do a shot for Manic? He's a fucking pro. Well, yeah, uh, dude. Oh my god, we I don't think anyone loves Manny. We have a twirly head. Yeah, it had a well, background though. Can't we just like get the, the yeah? Yeah, he's out? sending. He sent me another one, but I'm gonna have to like photo, uh, not Photoshop. But I'll have to like Chrome. Like I have to put some work into it. I'll have it ready for next week. But um, by the way, people, I am not adverse to a fucking lower, lower plex price. Please don't get me wrong. I want all of you to be able to fucking play all day, all night for the rest of the fucking lifetime. Who's Mike is exactly? based on the fact of what you mine oh, in the game? Okay. Stop hot micing. We got a hot bike. My belief LB. is that they fucked up this economy. I want them to fix the economy. Go. Sorry. Fucking hell. <laughs> Not worry about sales. Sales aren't our problem. Our problem is there's too much motherfucking wealth in this game. If you really want to like actually break something down, I don't know. Have a fucking wealth like tax. You need to redistribute. Like, like I, I can totally get socialist in this game and like you know totally Oxana this shit and be like and be like you know what every fucking year just have a fucking wealth tax. We need a new space deal. That's what we need. <laughs> oh. And I've got glasses on, so I'm smart. I'm not going to lie, because they fucked it up a long fucking time ago. Just like a lot of things. There is wealth inequality in this game. There absolutely fucking is. Just like there's skill point inequality. And none of you bitches give a fuck about how they're giving away fucking skill points. What if they just put price Maybe controls they, hey, on like, Plex? Give away whoa, Plex whoa, or something whoa, like that. Darren, I don't know. Darren, I only bought 50000 bro. So one, what uh, if they put price yeah. controls on Plex? You're oh, not yeah. allowed to sell Plex for over X amount. I'm, I'm joking. Like nobody's going. Just up. disregard that. I, that I don't want to keep all the new guys poor. And you, you so know, hey, you know, there's you three new trade like ships over that. Like, yeah. I, so at Eve's I heard last something week, about that. Which so last week was Easterdam, which are the live events, which CCP has really, 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 really been pushing. And obviously, without Fan Fest this year, people are like, oh no, what are CCP going to do at these events? They actually announced three new Triglavian ship, an assault frigate, a command destroyer, and a, um, a hack, so a heavy assault cruiser. They I said can't they wait would have, to fly that command destroyer. They said they would have their own mutaplasmids, so we can expect not just new ships like T2 ships, but actually new, new mutaplasmids. I believe the mutaplasmid was actually related to the damage control, so you can keep an eye out for those, more detail to come. But not only that, sort of related to the lore that we kind of touched on last week, CCP has actually been, um, they changed Abyssal T5s, so you have the random chance to actually encounter a T5 room, which is near impossible to beat, and it's like it's like 10 to 15 to 20 um like battleships, Lashaks, and like the remote reps are insane, and it's it's like practically impossible to beat. But there's the trick that you can just escape through the room, um, the room, the door. Um, so it's like the first room, and normally you have to beat three rooms and try to move on. Well, this one actually allows you to escape right away, um, and you get actually an Eve mail from NPCs in the game that are actually Triglavian, and they kind of give you hints 
as to some of the lore and the, some of the things that are up and coming, a lot of people have thought that it might be a capital ship. It looks like the um, NPCs are kind of guarding a capital ship, but no one really knows yet. And at Evesterdam, actually, they released, um, and I think, Dirk, you can actually link it, but they released what look like half of an image or the eighth of an image because there are eight live events. And this has like a sliver. So like if you think of like a pie, um, it has like a little sliver of it and it looks like eight of them will be finally released throughout the year. So for those of you who are lore nerds or those of you who are like, oh my God, I want more story and more building of like the Eve um, universe, this is actually all for you. And um, if you go to these live events, you can actually see some of this as CCP will be announcing it and focusing on it live. We can expect more Triglavian stuff. I think I saw somewhere on Twitter, someone said, it might actually have been CCP Hilmar talked about battleship, um, like like abyssal space for battleships, because right now we just have frigates and um, cruisers. Ooh. And, uh, so like battleships. Uh, yeah, and then on top of all that, Evesterdam was a great success. I don't know if you guys have seen the stream. I actually went back and watched a bunch of it because I was sleeping during it. But they're also coming out with shield slaves, and there's a slide in there about it of like all the different types of shields of uh, implants coming. I think it's three new, brand new sets for I don't pirates. like to. I'm gonna cool be honest. I'm gonna be honest. There. As somebody who watches the show Vikings, I'm not impressed with the name shield slaves. Because I would like to say, are you like, saying it should be shield, record, shield maiden? Because women should not be considered slaves just well, because they have that's shields. That's a shield maiden, not a shield slave. Whatever. Shield, no, shield slaves like shield the Persians. Slaves. Exactly. Dirt, dirt, shield slaves I like the put, Persian army in 300. I put Same. shield slaves down as one of my campaign promises. We want to get shield slaves in the game. Said I would fight for it, and it happened. You do the math. There you go. Also with shield slaves, um, a, lot, a lot of people talked about how like if they came out with shield slaves because right now, what is it like the um, armor implants are so critical for armor capitals and shield capitals are I think people are saying are just uh, so I'm a retard at capitals but I think what they're saying is shield capital capitals because of the way shield mechanics work and shield regen works is just as strong without implants so that if they were to add implants they would be completely broken. CCP has talked about how they are going to rebalance shield regen and capacitor region, as well as those modules that affect that to make it more balanced across the board. So if you're one of those people that like to bet on the market or try to predict change, that is definitely coming through. And that was also announced at Evesterdam. But to be, be clear for folks, because we had a lot of a lot of concerns internally and in, in, with an initiative, what they're doing is shields will be, the, the, the slaves will be shield implants, okay? The armor implants that are currently called she slaves will be renamed to amulet. They're not going to get removed from the game. You're not going to have to rebuy everything. It's just going to change. So it's going to say amulet, uh, high grade amulet instead of high grade slave. Slave will be shield. Amulet will be armor. That's the difference. Don't worry about it. It's, they're not going to screw you over. Now we talked about Evesterdam, and none of you have any comments about it? Like, what? Dirk, hello? Okay. Sir, sir, do, you guys, do you guys want to hit on fucking Ghost? <laughs> CCP oh, no. Ghost has that, had a role change he's alive? within CCP. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Stop. Stop. Can we just start? Hold on. You know what? Fuck that shit. Time to do a shot. <laughs> All right. what we so what? Him not Proof of dead? life, bitch. Proof of life. I do like the fact that um, the thing I got from, we've had uh, proof of life from for CCP the Ghost. Last time I knew that motherfucker broke both arms and then like disappeared into the fucking way back. <laughs> Serpent. And then all of a sudden you showed up with like a different haircut and, oh, uh, and 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 talking about and talking about the thing that that we have been preaching on this show for fucking years. Love you, brother. And like keep playing Eve. Love your brother, keep playing Eve. Love your you sister too, about? and keep playing Eve. Who? Who? Oh, there we go. Ghost. Yeah, Ghost, yeah. yes. I'll, I'll have to chrome this Ghost. out. Yes. Apparently, Ghost apparently, had, I mean, apparently they, are, they have data-driven analysis that is telling people out there, holy shit, if you're fucking socially connected to this video game, um, you are going to stick around longer? You may even become somebody in it. Ghost's presentation was great, and I liked it very much, and I was happy that I was able to participate by talking to him at the summit about some of this stuff. It was cool. So I was happy that he did that, and I think you're right. I mean, we've been saying forever, the easiest way to get people to keep playing the game is to have them get friends in the game. 
and then have them get more responsibility so they feel like they don't they can't let their friends down so they keep playing even if they don't want to can you and guys that, that's a good thing can you guys tell my cousin he needs to join a corp and actually play with other people because right now he just talks to me while mining by himself and i feel bad who's your that's cousin really annoying. In game name join nc dot i'm not telling you he's in game name <laughs> i heard him no, that's true. Tom, Roderick, he needs to play. Say that's it right true, now. Roderick, sure, no, I'll uh, it. I need to. I, I need to change that fucking. Well, how do we know who like, how to address him? That's getting fucking old. Rain's cousin. Rain's cousin. Can I just yeah. shout it Rain's out? Cousin. Hey, Rain's cousin. You want to come live in a wormhole? I know. I know a guy. Yeah. You All right. Can, you can Here's where I'm going to agree wormhole. with Star Sith. Here's where I'm going to agree with Star Sith. Okay, and this is going back to the CCP ghost conversation. The community has been picking up the slack for CCP's ineptitudes for many years already. I totally fucking agree with that. And it is one of the things where I have said over the course of a number of fucking years, okay, we're doing your fucking job, okay? The whole idea of socially bringing you, bringing the players in and whatnot. We know this works. We're trying to do that. These groups like Goon Swarm with their SIGs and all that kind of shit, they're doing that too. All of the other social organizations around the game, we've been doing this for fucking years. Please don't tell me you're just figuring this shit out. And not even about whatever he called elite players. Dirk, I got some bad news. Yo. They're just figuring this out. They're not. I'm they're sorry, not, man. but like, hold on. And I don't think they're just figuring Hilmar, this out. I Hilmar think it's, said it's... it on the talking in stations after thing where it was like, and was like, and we tasked him with going out there and speaking to some people, which by the way, I didn't get a fucking phone call. <laughs> okay. Like apparently they, they went out there and talked to some players like, you know, who uh, like the data, my understanding of the data comes from actual interviews with players who have been playing 10 years or more or something along those lines and like you know how do they do shit and whatnot what what um i don't know i didn't get a fucking call i didn't tell him i i didn't tell him oh by the way been saying that shit for like eight years now maybe they didn't want you to yell at him yeah i don't really dirk i think because fucking uh, yelling at ghosts would not but be dirk cool. you know how it is i mean this this is People win Nobel Prizes in economics because they explain shit that everybody already knows, but they do it with math. That's all Ghost is doing. And that's know. fine. And I am totally glad that they went out there and fucking like got some data to be able to do what we all already knew. If you want your players to stick around in this game, communicate to them in a way that they freaking understand and like in a way that they're receptive to, right? Um, get them into a group and uh, like like groom them like a fucking pedophile like some groups out there fucking doing shit okay but, but, but like the whole idea the whole idea Wait, that, we're like, not what? talking about black legion now are we what Ooh. On, the whole idea what? that you can actually get players out there like you know new players new players into the game you can groom them into these other organizations way faster than anything anything the new player experience will ever be able to do because human contact means something well that's what i mean merc said flat out uh, you know when he's talking about karma fleet he says that, that he's fine that the number one way to get a player to stick around in karma fleet is to get them on comms and have them talk to people because once they do that and they realize wow there's a ton of people in this game and they're all interesting and they're like me and they want to play it they stick around so yeah you know, they're just, they're just, Ghost's presentation was simply reaffirming stuff that we already knew because it happened to us, which is why we're still here. And that's why we spend every Friday night talking about a fucking video game. First person yeah. I ever talked to on comms was Argus, which, it's a wonder I still play this game. <laughs> Dirk knows what I'm talking about, but no one else does. Dude, dude, that was the guy that made me want to love this game more. <laughs> Like Argus is a great dude. I actually liked him a lot, but there was a lot of people that had issues with Argus. But uh, yeah, that 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 was the first guy I talked to on com, like on voice comms in this game, and it did not deter me. Yeah, yeah, nice. Why, you what, why did you have that? On, why, you know you, what, LB. <laughs> LB, you know what? I love LB. He just I'm has that ready. LB right now because that was like boom. Dude, yeah, right? yeah. Like, LB, you know like LB, I'm just going straight out the fucking bottle for you. Oh, hey, Derek, check it out. I fixed it. Everybody! 
Anybody that gives Obi a hard time because he doesn't talk a lot, the bottom line is he is like the Fred on the Howard Stern show. Right, right. He's got the sounds at the right well, time. It's, it's, and I mean, it's like, his, it's like Elby may have had that shit lined up. I'm not sure they did. I'm not sure he knew exactly which key it was or anything like that. that. But like, honestly, honestly, it was like right at the fucking proper moment. It was like, right. he was like, he was like, I know at some point good. tonight we're going to have, because dead air is something we have tried all yeah. along to never have. It, it's it's a and bad it was, thing. And I was, was literally, right I knew that you were going to say something about dead air. That's I, when I knew. Click the little button. with. Yeah, the yeah. I, I, I knew. Exactly. Because like, I was literally like a, a millisecond from saying like, and there was silence wow, or something. Like, yeah, Anyways, something, you know, just speaking so of the crickets. I mean, but the, the like, and you went, God bless, God bless fucking LB. That's why we did a shot for fucking LB, a guy in the show. Right, right. Well, we the thing never is like, do shots for people on the show, people, just so you know. Yeah, but the thing is, like, he had, I know the thing he uses, he, he has to have that preloaded. Skill, our skill is ramping up. So We're this is fucking ramping up. Yeah, yeah. He has to have that preload. So th- that, that's a thing where he's like, We're just he, getting closer to 11 o'clock. that was coming. He's like, and... the, he's like, there's going to be a time in the future when no one's going to say shit and I can use this thing. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need... well done. I got a game, hey, well done, of, game of Thrones theme is lined Can up I do a for public when Game of Thrones fires up. Real quick? Oh, oh, well, hold on. I actually um... hold, on. Hold, on. hold on, hold on, no, don't just because he like tangent transition view there. Well, no, like, like... no, no, no. It's not that. It's I've actually been actually actually now told by life shit to be you. careful with the Game of Thrones theme because it's copyrighted, and also you know like the Game of Thrones spo- well, like, so I, is I... shots. Yeah, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Play it. No. You know what? You know what? Do Please it. Please do not no, get, no, get he, us muted. No, no, Life Shifter we did just not. Life Shifter did not na- tell me about it. It was more of a now, now, now that we're at the Game peak of Thrones of... thing, do it, do it, do it. No. No, I don't have it do made it. now. I took it away because the thing is like, it was the Game of Thrones. It was that, okay. and it, it had the Game of Thrones logo that going. Is the music, that is the music that in, I believe it is, two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks to come back. Two? Okay. I thought it was three. Okay. I believe it comes back in two weeks. Oh my god, dude! Fucking it, torment. It, it may be, it may be, it may be a little bit late, but whatever. The week after that, this is the music that you will hear, along with us sitting there saying, "If you have not watched the episode from five fucking days ago, shut this stream shut the off, fuck off. Run away. April fourteenth. We 14th. are going to talk about it. Two weeks. Yes. Oh my April god. April fourteenth is wait. when it comes out. Two weeks, okay? It's Final like two season. weeks from this weekend, okay? But I'm going to tell you right now, fucking five days from then, look, bitches, I don't give a shit. You guys need to, like, go back through all the other fucking seasons, do what you got to fucking do. We will literally talk about fucking Game of Thrones. This ain't well, Hawaii 501 CBS. No, but here's the thing. It's not bad because, like, we do go through a full spoiler, like, review. But the thing is, like, we give a spoiler warning. We're like, hey, Game of Thrones time. do 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 Like, the, the fucking intro thing. I'll have a graphic ready. I'll probably just have a, a little video thing with a graphic ready and the sound coming in. Um, and it will say spoilers. So if, if, you get, if you watch that and continue to watch and they get upset about spoilers... I'll just time you out because I'm not going to hear that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to listen to the, we, we give you all the warnings of the world and that's what we're going to do. So we, yeah, once Game of Thrones starts, we're doing Game of Thrones discussions. Uh, we used to do TV time every show. We've kind of slipped off of that, but when it comes to Game of Thrones season time, the last 10 to 15 minutes is Game of Thrones of the week review. We'll do that. Um, okay. The North remembers. Let, let, yes. I ha- I, ha- I, ha- I need to admit something. Okay, because I got called out. Oh, by we already Pato know. We already know, Brisk. It's, it's okay. We accept you. I need. I need to explain <laughs> something. Okay, Pato, you're absolutely right. When I take Who? full credit for Shield Slaves, I had nothing to do with it. It's a joke. It's a funny thing that politicians say they take credit for stuff they had nothing to do with. It's a joke. Laugh. It's supposed to be funny. I pander because I'm a politician. I claim credit for things I had nothing to do with because I'm a politician. You're a lawyer. Get it? I wear a tie on a fucking show where everybody else is drunk off their asses because I'm a politician. Get it? You, you wear a tie today because I asked you to. Yeah, Correct. you did. Yeah. Wolf asked me to, and that's why. I've I, seen it, you in a show. Sweatshirt. Guys, it's supposed to be funny. When I say everything you like, I did. Everything you hated, Sork did. That's a joke, too. Lighten up. Hey, oh, hey, hey, Briss, can I ask bad. why you're, like, just somebody mimicking other people when you're on the CSN? Try another one. 
That was good. I like that. No. It's really funny to fucking paraphrase, but like, you know, honestly, if you're just on the CSM to like paraphrase other people, it's like, you know, not as cool oh, for everybody. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now, now you're memeing too. It's Meme. Thank you very much. Me is it it's fucking Meme. No, it's me. Shut up. Meme. You pronounce it GF2, me -me you? You're brisk as a man, let me tell you what? how this. <laughs> oh, okay. actually, it's pronounced actually... Memeing. You'd know that if you were wearing your gamer girl outfit. I don't give a shit about Meme. Yeah, exactly. I don't give a I shit about where, you where, Where's your short skirt gamer girl outfit? Or a Gila or a Gila. Fuck with the you. With the cleavage zipper. Fuck you. <laughs> Everyone knows it's Suck a Gila. missile. Suck a what? <laughs> you what know, hey, I, I'm, I'm Gila, glad. Gila, like, but I, I have to, I have to get a hold of uh, Manic now and tell him that hey, I got it set. It works. I'm doing a shot. Like, look at that. I, I just think it's funny because it's it works. like it's chrome and everything. Back, 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 talking about me again because that's what I like to talk about because I'm apologizing. <laughs> I just think it's funny. I mean, I make these jokes all the time and. People seem to think I'm serious when I when I say shit like, "Yeah, I was all responsible for that." I mean, I don't I don't get why anybody thinks that's, that's brisk. Real. Brisk, if it makes you I feel got... better, I say things super sarcastically to the point where people think I'm actually stupid. Like I'll say something and people will try to explain it to me, and I said, "No, I I know what that means. It was a joke." Well, and then you get mad. And it makes me lose faith in all humanity because people legitimately think I'm that stupid when I'm making a joke. I actually I gotta be honest, Rain. You're, I feel like you're, I mean, your level of sarcasm when... is off because I've just always thought that you were the person like here on I, the show. I actually like the like, uh, what was that video you linked, LB? The the Gen was like Z representing lingo? women. It was good. I badly. The, the, the thing with the Gen Z lingo <laughs> with Carl, the, the, the Sunday cool tease. Rain. I can't the thing is, I couldn't even play that like, off straight face. The funny thing is, uh, one of the, like, there's a couple of them. I, I knew most of them, but there's a few of them that I actually use like oof. Like I say Shut oof all the time. So I was like, oh, I no. couldn't even Represent fucking women. like. I I, I totally exactly. wanted to carry that on for like the whole argument of it, but like I just couldn't do it. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know what you're saying. I'm like, Dream. however, Sorry, somebody man. will fucking like snip. <laughs> somebody will snip it to me to make it be I like. I need you someone know. to read Russian for me. Suck a dick, Ray. Uh, what is it? Cyrillic? <laughs> is that? Is that Cyrillic, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. It looks like yep. Bokra to me, but it, uh, is that mean second bliat? I'm I'm guessing that's like the stereotypical. No, because like well, super, there you go. Now CYK. we're not gonna get. Now we're not gonna get partner again. What the fuck, bro? Fuck, not again. No, we can't get partner. Didn't He's this happen Billy. before? Doesn't what? that doesn't is, mean is like this holy like shit? Battlestar Galactica's first scene. Didn't well, hold this on, hold on. Before, hold on. Before we get in any trouble, like I doesn't that mean like holy shit or fuck you or something like that in Russian? Like is, yeah, it, fuck you, Drayden. That's but, fine to say. That's fine to guess. Oh, no, yeah, no. You, you're, that was Drayden, that, you are culturally that was that appropriating that language. Fucking, don't like, do English it. guy, right? Psychobliot, brisk. Don't tell me. <laughs> that's more you're more so cultural appropriation, dude. That's cultural appropriation. <laughs> I know their national anthem. Go I will do, I will do Texas vodka to wash that to wash that away. I learned Pedro, Pedro, listen. Dude, I learned half of the I national anthem for a Matt I'm, tech I'm joke. trying to be funny because we're on a show and we're having we're making jokes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. This Are is we... the problem. When I when I'm too serious, then I get assholes telling me, Oh, you're too serious. You take yourself too seriously, Bruce. Well, I know you're not all serious. You have. You're a video game I gotta be honest, Bruce. You, take you do so take seriously. yourself too seriously. I don't. I take big jokes. Do. I laugh. Yeah, I have a good time. Do you do? That's why I'm like, on the show. Come on. Chill. He caught it. I just I just want people out there to know that at one time I also took myself too seriously. What? When oh, was that? Fucking bitch. Okay. That was when oh, he pulled a bad. creature. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, it, it wasn't. Got it. it wasn't. No, actually, it wasn't when I pulled a creature. But, but like, honestly, it, was it when you kissed uh, Canadian? Led to that. Wait, did you kiss drunk Canadian or did you kiss? Uh, uh, kiss no, dude. I just no. I kissed, kissed Pearl. Pearl. Uh, Pearl. 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 That's who. You, yeah. yeah. That's right. So anyway, look, I'm. I'm. That I that have that to walk a fine line between being it. funny did drunk and amusing Canadian, like, and taking myself like, seriously. Now, I I did I get down on my knees and propose to Dirk with a flask to take a shot with me. That that was a thing. Dude, when we had sex that night, it was so good. Yeah, I mean, like it was it was pretty rowdy. Like we, like, Miss McGurk had to leave the room. She couldn't stand it. 
See, Raiden Harmon out there. You know what? Fuck you, Raiden. Raiden, you like, Raiden, Raiden, what are you doing up at this time of night? Dude, did you guys get all the pictures of Suetonia making out with nerds at Amsterdam? <laughs> oh, wait, no. this happened? <laughs> yes. Also, gonna, man, I forgot. I'm, I'm, I was going to bring, gonna bring, I'm gonna bring, bring this up now. I was going to see if Raiden and Miss I... Moses wanted to come on to talk about Amsterdam, That's awesome. but... I want, well, get them on. Raiden, come on. Raiden, Raiden's, well, Raiden's been banned from open comms by Ms. Moses. By Ms. Moses. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a leash. Nice. But, um, okay, but uh, I, I do want to use that actually as a transition into um, the coverage of uh, Eve Sudam, okay, as well as then into the, uh, the AMA, okay? Um, I'm going to be honest. I love the fact that a player run organization out there um was was doing the whole fucking you know coverage thing right like whatever i know you stream people fleet. think i know you people stream fleet okay i know you people think that like you know everything should be fucking perfect and like you know ccp was always perfect no they weren't they weren't fucking perfect with their streams they just weren't okay let's let this shit build at the at the end at the end of the world tour that stream fleet has been tasked with if you want to bitch about the fact of let's go back to an in-house kind of a thing let's do that but let's see how they fucking actually accrue their experience over time because this is really good it's really good in two ways number one if they actually get good on the fucking technical side of things and don't fuck up like that whole sound thing right raiden which is what you're writing about out there earlier oh i'm, I'm working an angle that maybe we can get them on What's your fucking angle? Like, honestly, uh, just, just don't like, say anything to Miss Moses. Just like, don't. This, just, this is not trying to get guard on right no, now. No, 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 no. Just, just fucking chocolate we, cake we need in a, a fucking horse head bar. We need an official agreement by everyone on the show and everyone in chat that no one will mention a word to it to Miss Moses. No, nobody's gonna mention like. God Ms. damn Moses. it! You all suck. Like it's just, I'm, it's a, it's I'm a, gonna tweet right it's at. It's an Ms. easy Moses. just silence agreement. There, Look, there this is exactly the, the same thing that happened when you said don't share the um, the meeting minutes with our, or the, the the notes, the open comms notes with exactly. people that I did. Exactly. It's just what we what do. What a day. You can't damn say it. don't do it. It's like we're you tell do. people don't, not to do yeah. something, they do don't it. Don't push this button. We're going to push it. God damn maybe, Gen Zers. Maybe we shouldn't if we were thinking in a moral sense. But like, he, I do... I do believe that there are some things out there like plus 10 gaming doing things like the Alliance tournament and whatnot and stream fleet covering shit like, uh, you know, you know, these Eve events out there. This is the kind of thing that like we can take weight off of them. Okay. And like put players in charge because honestly, honestly, don't sit there and act like you weren't bitching about the fact that the person on the fucking camera at that time didn't actually know about Eve because they were an Eve employee. Let even let 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 players be there. Let players be running it. Let us fucking do it. Let us get the fucking experience. Like you know, in doing this, we will make this an entire new Eve industry just at a game. Just like the Eve media. Because you know what? It's not that I actually know all the things I do. I do. But, like, you don't, sometimes I but... have to pretend like I don't know those well, things no, no, just no. to have conversation we happen. No, we don't. You know that's a lie, Dirk. Sometimes Stream Fleet just, just has to fuck up a stream just yeah. to pretend like they're human. Sometimes you just gotta. What? Sometimes you just gotta fuck shit up to know well, no, that you don't can fuck, fuck shit. up. Don't fuck up the voice because, like, that's all we have. But, like, you know, whatever. The voice, like with I don't even know what Christina you're talking. Aguilera. Well, you know what I'm That's talking Katie about. Katy Perry. Wait, what I'm season are you talking about? It wasn't fucking Katy Perry. I thought Katy Katie Perry was the voice. No, no, the voice was a show. No, but Katy Perry Christina was on, Aguilera uh, was on it for a long oh God, time. But, fucking Twitter, and then Jesus, fucking crazy dudes and chicks. But yeah, can we not talk about shows that suck and talk about something better? And yeah, let's talk about. I think they uh, did a really good. Hold on, hold on. Just like, just like uh, uh, the Alliance. I thought you were talking about the Hillmar AMA. You never really talked. No, about it. Hold on. just like the, the Alliance. Can we talk a, about the Hillmar AMA and how just like the AMA, Alliance tournament a couple but of years Madderall ago? But just fucking rolling the fir- over and being a little like fucking. Oh yeah, CCP bullshit. Just Can like, like the, just like Shut the Alliance fire. tournament a couple of years ago. <laughs> I think we need to allow Stream Fleet to grow into this before we like you know actually criticize them. And honestly, I'll be like. No, by the time, we're not criticizing Streamfleet. She's criticizing Matterall. By the time, hold on. 
Because I'm she trying to I'm stop trying holding. To we want to go to this to now. We're done. Stop you. talking. We're done with the wrapping up. I'm trying Let's to wrap up and transition. Ever. By, the time, by the time we the already transitioned. Tour, you're in a time, losing battle. By the time the world tour fucking ends, we will be oh, able yeah, to like you know, I'm gonna fucking Hillmark gig and then sit there and ask him fucking Dev 101 questions while not following up with things. That's what I'm gonna do. Softball. Let's stop it. Softball is a sport. Let's start with the AMA. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with the AMA. We're not, we're not yeah. going to freaking joint on people. We're not going to joint on players until what? we actually joint on the fucking AMA itself. The AMA okay. was trash. Was like, LB is all about them slap shots. High speed. I think some of these questions are actually pretty good. Some of them. Which, which ones? Which ones? Which ones? Name, name a couple. The I was very happy to see somebody else Slash. ask the same question I asked in the minutes, which is, where's the vision, and are you going to tell us what it is? Ooh. And he laid it out. Oh, was the answer anything but yes? What was if it was anything the but yes, then say, when? And why Gonna not? Gonna be a good day. What was the vision? He said, LB, LB, 2019 is about strengthening the core of the game. Of some of that that's shit. what he said. That There's mean? your vision. Oh, oh okay. I'll yeah, a that's some fucking this CEO mumbo jumbo, right? Oh, we have to have a strategy, a clear strategy. I'll take a jump. You know, to focus on he getting said, the customers well. the real value. Clear up, know, clear up all systems. Right? Transition to DirectX. 64 bit internal tools. We already know they're doing that shit. Tell windows. us something new. Tell us fucking something new. Oh, Raven's so coming on. Hold on. The vision is just telling what the Raven, vision is. The vision something thing. that's six months. That's what it is. Raven, it's Raven's coming on. One sec. One sec. That's well, it. It's, we're All in right. March now, so we got uh, nine so months nine left. Months. Go we got okay. 30 minutes okay. left. The vision of is open as long comms. as a pregnancy. Yeah. Okay, Correct. that's what it is. Correct. We're going to deliver this kid in January. Trust me, McLeod. I fucking partied with Homer. I have plenty of respect. So you can sit there and talk shit because you think, oh, matter all, whoever the fuck landed an AMA. No, it's trash if you can't Whoa. actually ask hard hitting questions and ask follow up questions. If you're just going to ask baby to your shit to a CEO, then you're Rain. fucking trash. Whoa. Whoa. Rain. No, no, where did that come Shut, from? Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm no, wrong. Rain. No, 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 no. We have the opportunity to ask questions. No, 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 we're not. Elby, you need like a, you need Rain, like a panther, like rah, 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 noise. It's it's a a so what the fuck did you mean, McCloud? Your fucking typing shit has no respect. I'm talking Ooh. about Hilmar. Rain, fucking Rain, Whoa. Rain. shut the fuck Rain. up. Rain, we have to declare, we have to declare just for like you know people's <laughs> understanding out there. Did you apply for CCP guards? No, like, I'm position not and get denied? I work at a company right now where I can talk to the CEO one on one. I just want people to know. I want people to know before they put it out there. Did All right, Mo Mossy just no, joined. No, I want to ask no. Mossy, did I do oh. a good job shitting on CCP tonight for you? Was that good enough, or did you not see it? No, I mean, how the fuck did we get to they didn't have a roadmap, and you guys agree with that? Like, oh, Mossy made it. How did we get to that point? Hold on, hold on. We haven't gotten there yet, Mossy. Okay, relax. We thought you were coming in here shitting on Plex. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'll get to that in a minute. That, hold on, hold on. I'll no, get no, to no. That we're not getting to that in a fucking minute. <laughs> We're just chilling it fucking back for a second, okay? <laughs> Can we talk about the fucking AMA, okay? The Ask Me Anything to Hilmar, okay? That the happened out there, okay? But and, let me be clear. And, I said I was happy that they asked the roadmap question. I didn't say that the answer was the best answer ever. It was, was an answer. It's not a, it's not a, it's an answer. The answer. Can we just talk about? There are two parts to the to the AMA, right? There's the initial part where people put questions up like you know at the front and like those were answered by somebody i'm not sure if it was fucking hilmar or if it was like you know like the marketing department or whatever those all got fucking answered in a way that like sounded fine well like, that's a flopper like most of those things were all fucking well thought off things right like and honestly everything that happened after that with the live ama just like every other live AMA, Dirk's gonna do a live AMA after the fucking show. It's gonna look like shit, just like this. Oh, Jane, we lost fix the camera. Yeah, we lost. And Mossy, you're hot micing. What, what, Sorry, yeah, Mossy, uh, what the fuck? Iron Wolf Damn, drop. Push talk. What, what are you in New Zealand? What happened iron, to Iron, iron Wolf? Wolf. <laughs> Okay, I forgot I had it all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Whoa! Okay, go? my five cam setup. I wonder is if he had to be our back real quick. A whole bunch whatever, of not whatever. Great. All you people can keep talking while the video rolls. Did yeah, I also yeah, yeah. had to go? Did I miss that? No, we didn't fucking hear that. But whatever. Just like we need to learn how to roll. Just roll. Just roll it. Whoa. Roll with the voice. Go with it. Roll with the talk. Dre, you have to have like these these pre pre plans so you don't have to keep making them. What is the? Oh my god! Sorry about the. Uh, apparently. 
Okay. Do stuff. Did did Let anybody have Jabber. any you know you know any issue with any of the fucking like you know initial AMA questions? That's what I'm talking about, LB. That's. Perfect. I just felt like that they were just kind of like had like there was no there was no substance. It was just kind of fluffy. I agree with that, like, but did we expect substance? A lot of circle jerking. Do you ever well, do you ever expect the CEO to give you substance? Yeah, actually, huh. yeah. I kind of do. For a hundred million dollar company, I can't expect someone to turn up. Huh. Hold on a second. I, I expect. Hold on a second. I expect why are you blaming bullshit. it on the? Why are you blaming it on the CEO? The CEO, yeah, the CEO was asked certain questions, and, and granted, this was the part that you know that they actually fronted up there. But like these were actually questions apparently from fucking players, and they ask the chief executive officer of the company a bunch of shit, like they were some fucking like dev or low level dev but Dirk, or like I mean, whatever. Look, the bottom line is these questions are going to get asked. Why are you they, asking they decided him about bumping traders, motherfucker? Didn't he create the game? Didn't he create the game? Last time no, he did he not. A, no, he did not. He's he was not the one of the ones Google? that are noted for creating the game. Yeah, but he was at the start, right? He started he back there. Yeah. yeah, so you don't sort of watch something evolve without learning a thing or two about the dev. You just can't not do that, especially in a game. Like, you, just, you can't, like, be ignorant of that all the time. Here's the thing. You've gotten Ask Me Anything from the CEO of CCP Games about EVE Online and... Well, actually, it wasn't even really about EVE Online. It was live AMA with CCP Helmar, okay? The fact of the matter is, is that if you're asking him fucking bullshit dev questions, you're wasting your fucking time. And I will extend that to if you were then having an interview with him after the fucking fact and you sit there and fucking fanboy, you also wasted your fucking time. That's it. I agree with everything you said. I do agree with that. And the fact of the matter is, I'm not arguing with that. Some of these questions were absolutely fucking legitimate. Other ones were fucking bullshit. The early, the early questions on the AMA is that they picked the ones they wanted to answer. Yes, they They did. Picked the ones they wanted until later. Until later. Until later. Okay. And then they got into fucking questions that he was willing to answer. And then you couldn't actually associate it back to, well, what is this the answer to the question? And this is why the forums are the worst place fucking ever for an AMA. Well, I mean, where else would you do it? They're not. We tell them not to do it on Reddit. Live, live. You either do it. You either do an CCP AMA doing fucking live, live, where like the question goes with an answer, or you don't fucking do it. That's that's dangerous. I swear. Well, to you've got to link. You've got to link question with answer. You can't just have like question way up here and fucking like answer to so and so because now I got to go click on that and run up and all the fucking questions are happening after that and like answers are happening after that. I was going to say that I swear the more you drink, the more I align with you. That's probably a bad sign, though, Mossy. Oh, it means your spirit I gotta, I gotta be honest, That's a fucking bad sign. I would be sign. nervous about because that. Because I don't enunciate it the way I want to. Boy camp like, okay. the more he gets on it, the more I go, this guy's fucking saying everything I want to say. I know, and that's really... Uh, you know what, Mossy? Give me five. I'm going to give you... I'm going to allot my five minutes to the gentleman from Australia. <laughs> I'm from Australia's recognized. All right, Raiden, we got Raiden Harmon with us. Hello, hello. I recognize, I recognize the gentleman in Australia, and I transfer my five minutes to him. I, I don't have five minutes. I just was blown away. Go ahead. I just gave you five minutes, motherfucker. Talk. Well, I will say this: the plex pricing. If we can just move on for a second. The plex pricing, dumbest fucking. No, you can't. Fu- hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. I, I do not, not, I do not recognize you for for fucking past subjects. We're talking. <laughs> we are literally trying to keep to the whole fucking idea of this aim because we're we're building to the next topic. How did matter all? Wait, all right, stop, right? stop. Here's a, here, right. we have to. I want to ask Mossy. Mossy, do you agree with me or do you agree with Dirk? On what context? On what pretext? Sorry. On on the Plex sale thing. Here's what I would say: If your Plex pricing is getting inflated, and your best fucking idea of the day was to do what they did with the mega in-game pricing. Um, where's the matches and why we're watching the world burn is the only thing I would say. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck you, Dirk. I'm right. <laughs> Dude, I'm not trying to get fucking Mossy to suck my Mossy agrees with me. You're wrong. But I will do that. Though. Nonetheless, I will still do that. <laughs> Jesus, what? <laughs> you know what, Mossy? You know, You're invited what? too, right? It's, it's like, fine. honestly, Dude, you and me, Kansas City, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the ticket. 
the fuck? I'm just so, I'm just so confused as to why that AMA was absolute trash. So it's just I mean it's, it's, oh. I mean I I had low expectations. Be, I didn't I, honestly I'm reading it now because I didn't read it before because hey, it's a CEO it AMA. What is he gonna say? He's what I mean, it come like, on. It's gonna anything he says is gonna be so sanitized. It's gonna be pointless. So why? No, no, hold on, hold on. And that's not because nobody asked the worst part questions. is not the CEOs. Well, they might have, answers. but we don't know. They just didn't answer them. The worst part is not the CEOs' early answers. It's the fucking low-level questions from players who don't understand. He's not Fozzy. He's not Rise. Quit asking him fucking gameplay mechanics questions. Look, Ask him Dirk, CEO Dirk, but questions that's, or look, you're wasting time. But that's, but that's the thing. you got to understand, all right? The average player, they think, all right, this guy's a CEO. He knows everything. I'm going to ask him this crazy question. Look, I was at a Star Trek convention. Yes, I'm, not, I admit I'm not a plex based Listen to me. fucking Listen to me. populist. I was I was at a, I was at a Star Trek. I'm here to convention. talk about like you know like normal players out there. I was at a Star Trek. I was at Listen, I was at a Star Trek convention and they had questions from the audience. And Cole Meany, the guy that played Chief O'Brien, was one of the one of the people there. That's somebody got up. Culture. Somebody at, got up and literally asked him, "Can you explain how the transporter works?" And he had to fucking say, guys, it's a show. It's not real. I'm an actor. But that's the, I, I, all Are I did you? was I moved things up and down and made it look like I was doing stuff. Best, that's how it but, works. Best answer. That's right. how people are. They ask stupid shit when you and give the, them the opportunity. And the most indicative well, question in about... the AMA about that is somebody asked him about cloaky camping. How's he going to answer that? He's the CEO. He doesn't know anything right. about yeah, cloaky that's, camping. That's, that's, he doesn't right. cloaky camp. He doesn't yeah. fucking... Come on. Here's what I would say is, how many free passes do we keep giving CCP on this subject? Like, that's the problem. It's on which subject? Said. On the subject on, of on, when Hilmer comes out and speaks? On the growth of the game. No, on the growth of the game. I think that's the thing. No, that's well, the symptom. We have, to get, we have to give them the kind of passes that they deserve, as well as the criticism that they also deserve. The AMA is completely different. So I don't want to fucking, like, diverge off into our heat for whether or not they, like, actually get the uh, connection between the two. Can we break off from the AMA? Because you had the AMA on the forums, which I think a lot of people agree were kind of garbage because people were asking garbage questions. What about the interview by Matterall? Well, hold on, hold on. What about that? I think well, why are we holding to, on I, for? I do believe that we need to separate the two before what I believe to be the shit on the second part. Okay, hey, Derek, how about we let Rain talk about what she wants to talk about since we've dominated the rest of the fucking I mean, I don't know what the fuck we're waiting on. Like, why don't we talk about why Holy Matterall didn't ask the hard you were questions? such a fucking... No, Go like for Mad it, Rain. no Matterall. Like, trust me, I love Risk. Matterall, but I think Matterall I'm can just do a shit ton tonight. better when he when he's asking questions. Matterall knows the shit. He knows the metagame. He knows how to fucking play political, and he shouldn't be asking babby tier questions and should be following up, especially with Hilmar on the hard hitting questions. I know I had I had I didn't have an interview, but I had a talk with one of the CCP devs, and I asked them some tough like some tough shit of like, especially when they told me with CCP Siegel leaving. I said, well, what do you what are you gonna do about it? Like, what do you think that looks like for the Eve players? How do you think the Eve players are gonna handle it? Like, sh like granted, that's like not super tough. Like, what the fuck does your roadmap look like, and why aren't you releasing it? But that's still questions that puts people out of well, their comfort zone, that. but that they should be willing and able to answer. Sorry, go on. Yeah, but does that 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 goes into that though? So when you ask that question, like when a committee, like even with Guard or CCP Seagull or these guys leaves, like, what's your next step? Because that's all people want to know. They don't want to know the dates. They don't know the specifics. Just say, tell me you have a plan beyond the next five minutes. Yeah. Well, yeah, that and simple things like, right, so there's CCP, like CCP Homer has been the CEO forever, right? How many companies, you know, have retained a CEO for 15 years? And like, why don't, like, that's a valid question. Hilmar, what happens if you want to move on? Who, who do you intend to take over your role? Hilmar. How, what is the future state of Eve? What is the ideal state for to you of Eve? What is the ideal state of CCP to you? It's like can't, simple, can't simple right. shit like that. Nope, oh, simple oh, shit like that. If you can't answer I need that, to break publicly, in. I need to break okay. in because I need to spell something out there. Okay, can't get right. Says this show is convincing me Eve is dead, and I'm gonna sit there and say this no. show should be convincing you that you know what? It's the exact the, opposite. The fucking yeah. soul of fucking and... Eve Online is why. It's not fucking dead. It is fucking people like us that are sitting there talking about things like this. It's not fucking dead. It's definitely the topics that need to be addressed. I fucking push you see it. You show me. You show me a fucking World of you Warcraft podcast talking about this shit. Exactly. Because any of the content creators are proving that Eve isn't dying. We're out there making stuff every day, and we wouldn't do that if it's dying. It's exactly. A ridiculous question. 
Also, shout out yeah, to Johnny UK, like who I know is doing guy. the uh, stream Damn. fleet Raven's stuff right. at, at, at Easterdam. Also, I don't know why the McLeod is here talking so negatively. I think, the I man, think that's by the way. Like I, I thought Rain, you guys did a great job is, with the um, guard thing. I think that's some Thank sarcasm. If, if, I, if I'm reading it right, I think that's sarcasm. Well, hon. Oh, it's it's coming across know. in text. Well, McLeod, McLeod, he just said law, so I think it's sarcasm, so. Oh, you guys got baited. Yeah, you got, you got oh. baited, guys. You got to be able to read the like British humor. Oh, God. You are however, a bit hard. However, however, so I, hard. I will say this. As somebody as somebody who has been... you were triggering spent... before. No, wait a second. McLeod, that's not being triggered. That's actually asking tough questions. But you can consider... Or you can continue to sit there and circle jerk. Thinking it's so fucking funny. But I don't get what... Like value you're adding here, sitting here being a mod in the chat and not actually doing fuck all. But thank you, wow. next. Why are you being what? Mad? I think no, he's he can't, he can't, he can't, he can't, like a him. or some other. You can't denise him like that. Hold no, on, I'm don't, going don't to. Be, Rain, that's my to that's my alliance mate. You can't Rain. be mean no, no, to him. No, 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 that's he not said, what he yeah, this show is always so negative and combative. I think that was a, a particular so sarcastic mean. statement. It's fine. Yeah, Ray, why are you I so see, mean, little little headliner? In here all the time. Yeah, yeah there are, headliner. but McLeod is not one. That's our new nickname one. for Rain. I'm just saying, like, she's little headliner. Yeah, I need like, a fucking that little headliner. Out there yeah, to, like, that was pure and be like, sarcasm. You know, you, you I can't be so mean. I did not read it as sarcasm. She's I read it as sarcasm. Okay, so you're going to speak on behalf of the channel as a mod. You can't react to every comment. Well, don't try and prove you're reading Twitch chat status. Or like reacting I to everything read, that is said I out there. But oh, okay, but but right, right, hold on. So I think that would be in in relation to the comments before about the chat uh, about it being the show being too after serious. I him out, and then he acts like a little bitch, and then makes sort of that's comments. not it at all. So I call him out all right, and he's like, let's go. Trolling? Let's go what? back to what we were talking about before. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm actually gonna fucking level this out. Okay. If because, you guys don't stop uh, being I'm, mean, I'm gonna sing the baby shark song. Because again, you know what? I'm calling it out right Summer now camp. for a shot. Sing the fucking baby star shark song or don't, Brisk. Yeah, Brisk, Brisk, you can't do a shot. Brisk, you yeah, hold on, hold on. Brisk, yeah, don't raise shark. your fucking cup up. Either sing the baby shark song or don't. <laughs> you gotta sing it to Mama Shark. I don't even know, know the shark song. But right now, you either baby shark, you need the hands. How do you not have a summer camp? I can do Daddy Shark. We need the actions. I had a summer camp when I was I don't have the actions. Either sing the baby shark song or don't. And then take a shot and break it. You gotta sing it. You gotta sing it to Mama Shark. Contact. All right. I love it. Love it. All right. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark. And I'm skipping Mama because I'm not. You what? Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark. They actually played this song at the Nats game yesterday. When do we take the <laughs> shots? The Keep you you, you can't what? stop. Keep going. But when do we take the shots? I think shot. I think it's during the doo 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 part. Okay. All that being said, we started off with an AM, and then. And mind you, I bet mine one is gonna is gonna clip that and make a remix. So this was hard for talking in stations because okay. they've been trying to work on this Helmar interview for like a while now. Cause like like this has been something that's been in the fucking works for like weeks, if not fucking months. Okay, it's it's really been months, like in the grand scheme of things. All right, and all of a sudden it got thrown on them in the last few days. By the way, this is the fucking date. This is the fucking time, which is why it happened during that that non-normal talking in stations kind of fucking time, uh, except for the fact that it was because talking in stations had expanded off into like, you know, Thursdays at, you know, whatever o'clock. Um, it got fucking expanded off into there. That's when they were willing to do it. And it also got attached to the fact that they were doing the AMA. That is really fucking bad because the AMA was going to light people up and ask that, you know, you know, you know provide questions and answers and things like that before they even did this kind of thing, right? So if we're already off of the AMA and what got fucking answered there and what didn't, and now on to talking in stations, don't just blame talking in stations. They didn't have a lot of fucking time to prepare. That being said, they were a little fucking weak about it. They just fucking were, 
okay? Because you know what? The whole idea of talking in stations is about talking about, like, what's going on, right? It's not about fucking calling shit out. It's not about fucking being a dick about things. It's not even about laying out fucking hard fucking questions. It's about communicating to you guys out there what people, what this guy is fucking thinking, in this case, fucking Hilmar, right? What he's thinking, what he wants to say, it's about like trying to give it to you in a way where like you hear it, w- w- which in other words, you wouldn't have heard it. I know, and like now that I like actually round that out in my fucking brain, it like it, it wasn't going to be the kind of hard hitting question, like follow up question. Like, my biggest problem with, with talking to stations with that interview was the follow-up question was lacking. And I envisioned the follow-up question even before it ever fucking happened. But, like, the follow-up question was lacking. And, and, and that is the thing that I'm sad about. Not the fact that they didn't ask the initial question. The fact that they didn't follow up what an eve player should know to ask derek you're a pp head i am i'm a fucking dick okay i'm gonna be honest okay after the fact that we have just had this fucking ether wars thing we should have asked ether what is the relation Aether Wars, Aether Wars, <laughs> whatever. Okay, I know. It's like, I don't even fucking know how to pronounce that shit because, like, then I saw it spelled out there with an A and E I, I mixed just, together. I, I just like, to, you like, know, ever I'm since... I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. Ever Aether since, Wars, yeah. ever since okay. my cacophony night, I, I like to correct people. So. Yes, yeah, Modus Vist. Oh, Modus Vist, I totally fucking you said locked cacophony? in. You Totally fucking locked in today. Yes, totally I got yes, I did. When did you say cacophony? skill points because I'm a paying Omega motherfucker. Okay, Cacophony. you know what? Whether I log in or not, who gives a shit? 75,000 skill points today, motherfucker. Okay, suck a dick. 50,000 today. Okay. No, because I got alpha too, because, you know, Omega plus oh, you're, alpha you're bonus. Oh, you're totaling. It was 50,000 per oh. Omega. Yeah, whatever. Her, McLeod just whatever. called your ass out. I can still do math. Yeah, well, I mean, I could do math, except when, oh, when there's McLeod. unknown variables, oh. you can't finish the math unless you're in, like, theoretical. Number one, the, number one, number one, number one, I got show? fucking, I got fucking chats that I can fucking post. I'm not, I'm not going to do that to a bunch of bitches out there. I want to see what, chats. What did Dirk say you should fucking ask? Okay. Look, Dirk, what did you want asked? I, depending on, depending on what came up during the thing. Boxers okay, and bri- or briefs it, is what he wanted no, to ask. No, no, I didn't want any of that what shit. I didn't want, I didn't want talking in stations to play off of what the AMA because they never should have played off of what the AMA like ever said, right? The, like, like none of that form, should have fucking form, mattered. I mean, the forum thread. Okay. Thing. However, I would have asked questions like, "Okay, look, we just had this whole fucking Aether Wars thing. I, I literally have to ask the question: Hilmar, do you or CCP have any connection to Hadeon other than just the technology?" that uh maybe ccp could uh you know latch on to right uh, is there that, any economic the kind of now public. it's no now, the answer to no. that's public it's no but 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 it's that's the there thing. that's it that's how do we know that is. and do you think he's really going to answer that he's already answered that shit he well, already and um aether is already answered that shit it was okay it would just be a preface question to full disclosure either a there is a connection outside of you know anything right or it's like no this is just some really cool shit that we're trying to fucking lot you know you're like like think about because like the whole idea because i'm hold on i'm gonna throw this back to the matani and like you know like crazy shit with fucking daybreak and stuff like that that was not just a hey buddy why don't you bring your friends over so like no that, that was that was a sponsorship cool. thing. Hold on. That would have been cool to know for everybody else out there, okay? Like number 1, this is the chief executive officer of a company. This is not a low-level developer asking about how this shit fucking We've happened. established that already. Okay, so therefore you ask questions that are related to the CEO, you don't ask questions that are related to Oh my god, aren't we all just cool fucking gamer boys? Besides, besides Aether Wars, what else would you have asked? Because, like, I went through a shit ton of my questions that I would have asked. But I've also talked to see Maybe questions no with, uh, maybe that, questions so. with, oh, so you said he, Aether, but also the, um, in, in the actual In the actual AMA, he brought up the whole idea of there's some sort of fucking economic council within. 
Who's on that? That was that's true. That's not a lot. That would have been, been, been a good question. Who is on that? What is it exactly they are tasked with doing? How are you actually looking at the economy of EVE Online? Like these were kind of, but like that was Those are all good the, questions that somebody should ask. And except for answered. except for that was not the kind of thing that came up on on the talking in stations rendition because it was more about hey wow don't you like oh my god i'm a fan too i thought having a lease on there maybe some of those questions would have came up but they didn't because at least is a little bit more of a, a, a i mean like i might be the wrong also, I, mean, I, 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 I would say, I would though, say right? like Elise was on CSM and his NDA like continuously refreshes. So I think he well, gets more insight into things that, that isn't as public. That doesn't refrain him from asking questions in public. True. That's that very are true. Answered, he, because he can ask any question he wants. If anything's NDA, then it's up to the CCP person that he's asking the question to NDA that because he can't really, even if he knows the information, he can ask the question. It's just, he can't release the information, but um, very true, yeah. Because Elise is definitely much more of like the cerebral type Eve player. Like he knows the stuff, and so I, 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 I didn't watch the whole, um, the whole show. Uh, I watched about like the first like two thirds of it, but uh, yeah, was, I mean, like uh, Matterall and Corneros weren't asking too much, but like, uh, like I thought Elise would like kind of grind, like not actually like uh, Elise is not the person to like push someone against the wall and grind them up for an answer but like uh like, i figured he would have asked a little bit more uh th than than what he did it just oh, seemed really weak I guess. and please let me just say just this, point, just let point. me just say this to like you know alleviate mcleod look it's not about the initial questions okay and this is the biggest problem that i have with the talking in stations interview with 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 hilmar not the initial questions more the when he said something what were your follow-up questions? Because honestly, if you were sitting there actually like as an Eve player of this game and you hear somebody say something about what's your follow-up question, your follow-up question should actually be the strength of what it is you're doing, not your initial question. That's just getting them to expound initially. And then you're like, bam, there's my fucking follow-up. So, I feel like I feel like there was a good opportunity and it just wasn't fully taken advantage of. Hold which on. is really all right. So, so but, but right, let me also throw this out there. Instead of just all right, stop. Let me also stop throwing things out. We don't need to shit on no. the other. We shit on no, enough. No, 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 We have more shit. We have more shit to throw. This is the anti-shit on part of it. This is the anti-shit on part of it. Guess what? If you're one of those people who are willing to throw that shit out there, you don't get that fucking portion. Okay, you don't. Because you aren't fucking close to it. Like, you're not willing to fucking just let them say what they want to say and transmit it out to the fucking audience. Okay? So, like, that's actually a fucking positive in the grand scheme of things, right? Like, just be a fucking fan once in a while. Just let them say what... They... But make sure you transmit it out there to other people. Didn't you just spend the last 20 minutes bitching that they shouldn't have acted like fans and should have acted like hard-hitting journalists? No, Dirk uh, was complaining earlier about journalists just asking the same bullshit questions that journalists always ask when they get which a part executive. corporate corporate or 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 the journalist side. That does, it doesn't. I don't. Want, I don't want to talk about. It. I, I should not have asked the question. Anybody want to hear about the I test dunk? I'll tell you about the test dunk. Minutes. What test, happened? Test Rich? fed tell us, some subcaps and Oracle. Oh wow! We killed some shit. It was fun. There you go. That was a test. Fight. <laughs> Yay! No. We talked about CCP guard earlier, Wild. Um, we, we did, did. actually I'm, a shot to him because today was his last day. We're we doing a shot for CCP guard. Oh my god! We did an opening his last shot day? and an ending shot. Yeah, Dirk, we did a shot for that. Stop one? grinding. Did we do a oh, shot yeah, for yeah, him? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we might. We need to do another shot. Dude, I'm totally doing another shot for that motherfucker. Everybody! If we do a multiple shots, I'm going to do a multiple shot for, for Manny's birthday. Manny, like, like, good I luck heard in the he's Matrix. Going to work for I the guarantee person you're going to. Form formerly known as CCB Gargan in the long and tall shot. Gargant. Modus Viz, what happened to Test? Uh, last, I guess it was a couple days now. Um, whatever, I'm just doing a shot. We, you can, you we can all look at me like, whatever. Yeah, we did one. They basically got baited, and we killed a like seven of their supers and two Titans. 
that's what happened. Nice. I gotta be well done. Straight up well done, honest. sir. Tito's is so fucking smooth. It is yeah, just it so is. smooth. Yeah. It's like, look, I know you all can bitch about Tito's out there and whatever. It's just so smooth. It, you it's smooth it's like a motherfucker. I have a question. Uh, LB, LB. Like, bam. LB, is Tito's a thing in Toronto? Oh, yeah, there's Tito's, yeah. So you guys have Tito's we don't, up we there? don't have to, like, I'm going to be honest. I'm driving my car across the border, and I'm not going to lie. He's We're not going to have Tito's in the he's, trunk. He's not going to subject you to a, to a Tito's lacking environment. Like uh, that's just that's just bad. This is in the UK. You don't have to order it off Amazon and wait for it to show up. Like it's excellent. In, like it's there. It's but there. what about me? Like it, it's much harder to bring booze on a plane. We'll get you what you just need. buy it there. You check it. Fucking check guys, it. That's what I'm asking. Briskies, can it's we Canada. buy it it's there? It's not like you're going into Namibia Great. or you something. Check it. Come on. Put it which will... luggage. No, which, by the way, you. which, by the way, which, check, by the way, I don't need to throw this the, back. I need the room when for my boxes. On a plane, I need room for bottles. I think snakes on a plane, which make, which Let's brings me back to Samuel L. Jackson. And how the fuck that got into talking in stations conversation? I'm going to Russia next month. Do you want me to get you some? Oh, Ray, wait, 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 right. Ray, 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 you're going Raiden. to St. Petersburg meetup? Ray, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, he's oh Raiden. my Raiden. god! I'm going to be honest right now. If you, can what are we talking about? For, bullshit. We could talk about if that. If you can arrange for me to come to uh, Eve, Russia, I will 100 motherfucking percent walk into that fucking airport with two fucking handles of fucking Tito's vodka in my hand and go suck a dick, motherfuckers. It's better. So and you, risk you, be you, you get him a two thousand dollar flight. He'll give I'll you fifty hundred dollars for the just booze. for that. No, but okay. So Brandon, so uh, yes, now, but, uh, well, there's an Eve Russia on the fourth of May. Saint Petersburg. Uh, so Saint Petersburg. That's right. So okay. So is, is this a full? I have questions now. I didn't know you guys were doing this. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, How so, do you not? Uh, Sweden, are you even on this show? I'm on the show, but I don't read. Like, you know, I don't. Things. I never learned to. I read. never learned to. I, I, read. I never read things or hear things. <laughs> no, no, like, no. But okay, so um, are you? Are... Thank you, LB. Yes. By the way, by the way, for you motherfuckers out there who fucking hate me because you disagree with me, that's fucking fine. Like policy wise, yeah. fuck me. Well, Whatever. The whole... Derek, okay? they're just mad because you're drunk Drayden, and loud. That's all. Drayden, Fight Drayden him IRL. Is, what are you is literally the host of this show. Don't know dick. I know how to push. Pussy, depending on whatever fucking, like, you know, well, gender you're attributing to. No, no, no. no. LB, uh, LB, I'm, first I'm, of all, all right, first of all, uh, don't don't act like I'm, I haven't caught you chewing the whole show. I know you're chewing. What? I know no, you have not. food. No, Me? LB, LB doesn't Don't chew. even act what? like that. Oh, I didn't oh, see. LB, okay. chewing? Is he fucking I need zipping or is he I, I, chewing? Yeah, I thought you meant like me like chewing tobacco. Chew I was like, no, I don't do that. This is disgusting. You can't like dip a lip on you pizza. You can't chew pizza. What? You can't dip he was a lip chewing. on pizza. No, 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 Ray. No, you, you don't eat pizza like that. I saw it. No, 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 Ray. You can actually eat pizza without chewing. Everybody what? in America knows what, what chewing means. No, 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 Rain, you cut the pizza up into small strips and you just open your throat and let it slide down. Oh, huh, 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 no, no, that's a, that's, that's a pizza. Like that's, that's, that's not pizza, how this works. That's not how That's I, a pizza bandit. Oh, oh, well, that, that's the pizza. Like, that's like the either pizza. he's chewing or dipping, or is he not? I thought that was the pizza I abyss. Do I like, like, because he was, like, he was full mouth. Some guy named, and honestly, I haven't seen full mouth since that, like, fucking guy named Rick. We're on. We're two minutes over time. I'm going to bring this back. I'm going to bring it back. transition. Thank you, Wild. Thank you, Wild. Brother, you give me shit. Hold on. Number one, number one. I want to. I'm going to do a shot right now to Wild bringing it back. Right? Wild. Gonna bring oh, it hey, down wild, to ten. Oh shit! There we go. Everybody! Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm going straight out the bottle for Wild because Wild's mm. my fucking boy. Drink, you sluts! What the fuck? Shut up! And I drink. just drank, Rain. I did. I actually brought the Tito's bottle in. Why are you so Hold on, wait, wait. Why are you, wait, wait, you slut shaming me? Uh, no, um, it's time if to you breathe, you're a thought, so you can suck my dick. Let the fucking Shit. wild talk. Wow, no, no, it's I'm time for And a, honestly, wow, please clip Drink that. Drink a thought. No, no, I'm just going to do a rain. Can we have a hand check? Because, um... I okay. do hugs, take... you know this. No, I know, I'm just checking the other hand there, girl. Okay, let's now, let's focus on the real topics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Take that. <laughs> it's over there. Awesome. And now it's We're over gonna... here. That hand we... over there looking pretty fun. To... <laughs> Sorry. All right, go ahead. Oh, Sorry, you, you I, I cut off. Like... That every time you play that whole, whole alarm, there are people out there that are like pissing themselves. It's really funny. Yes. Can, can yes, please, please do it. Wild talk. Yeah. No, 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 no wild. We're, we've moved on. We're good. We've we, we've got no uh, wild, wild. No, no, wild. Finish Listen your statement. We you love I, you. Why don't we transition after you and I? That and night have an down in the show. fucking yeah, like central part of the city. We, we are wondering where. Okay, okay, where you get shot. okay, okay. Hold on. Okay, we are at the after dark point. We are at the after dark point. We have to. We have to transition. Yes. We're gonna no, we don't. We're gonna we do we have to wild talk. Wait, wait. Do we get one slur? Billy said this. We're on INN. Wild can fucking talk. I He's know we're on INN. Dirk. We're not allowed. Dirk, Dirk no, hold on. Dirk, every time ready, ready, ready. you say this, just keep going on this channel. Can we close out with no talking? Yes, we can. Yeah, um, man, wild. Oh, oh, fuck. Give your um, most pimp moment all right, right so, now. So, Wild, we're going to we're gonna cut talk. you off on the outtake, but the, just give us your best hot take for the for the Eve stuff. No, 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 no. No, no, we, no, I'm Rage, no Wild. That's we, a perfect hot take, yeah. no. No, no, Wild, we entice you. Really? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reach around for the for the for the low. Go ahead, do it. Low grass. I'm not gonna say the f word. We're not gonna go. No, no, no. What about the heck? I used our one. What about the what about the high hanging? Are you on the? Are you on the 